From the Lodge Mahal in beautiful Round Rock, Texas, welcome to the Lodge live stream. My name is Slick Rick, back from Colorado, in with my partner each and every week, Skull Mike Skull. We've got a little 25-50 action after an incredible stream yesterday, the heads-up match between Jungle Man and Doug. Yeah, what's up, Rick? Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed your trip. Yesterday was quite the seven to eight hour stream. Jungle Man, quite the character, or Deputy Dan, I'm sorry, as he should be called, the sheriff. Lay down the law up 53,000. He's back on the felt today along with seven new contestants. See, one's going to be Kyle Z from the Dallas area in for 10,000. C2 is Bones. Everybody's familiar with him and Austin Legend in for 10,000. C3 wants to be called Mr. Dr. Batman. Again, that's Mr. Dr. Batman. I don't know how many times I'm going to say that today, but he's in for 25,000. Seat 4 is Slicer in for 15,000. Seat 5 is Douglas Polk in for 69,420. Again, that's 69,420. Cinnabon back in business in for 8,000 right next to him. Formerly known as Eli. Josh, a little bit late, going to be in for close to uh, 25,000. He'll be here shortly. I'm sitting in his seat waiting. Seat eight is Ethan, a.k.a. the Princeton Kid. In for 20,000, just graduated Princeton, and now he's here playing poker in Texas. What a world. First hand cards in the air. Let's get it started. Top pair for Kyle. Every response was like that. And I was just like, all right, I'm not, I guess I... Michelle in the box gives us a turn, the four of spades. So it looks like we're playing the small blind button bonus. Yeah, 25 per hand is going to be placed on the button. The only person who can win that is the person in the small blind. So that's the money that you'll see on the button, folks. Launch live on every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. The Friday and Saturday games reserved for special events and high limit games. Today's 2550 action. And yesterday, if you missed it, you missed a dandy. Skull Mike Iron and Iron Mike Brady on the call for six hours in a heads up match. Doug Polk versus Jungman, where Doug walked out of here up 53K. Which really isn't that much if you think about it. Only one buy in. Yes. So at one point, the max that somebody was stuck was about two buy ins, about 100K. And they went back and forth a few times, a couple different lead changes. But the entertainment factor was always sky high. And and that's not going to be the only you know showdown that we do. There's going to be more of that in the future. So stay tuned to the channel. Make sure you are a subscriber. And we're going to have a big hand here, it seems, as Doug raising on the button makes it three betting to 700. Here's the jiggities. Ethan, the Princeton kid. Yeah, Rick, I'll let you take this one. As you see, I'm on the felt there, just kind of sitting there. So I have a little insider information on this one. Over to Batman with Ace Nine. Who? Mr. Dr. Batman. I'll call him Batman. 
Back over to Doug. Makes the call. Three hands in, already a huge pot brewing. Oh my goodness. Top two for Doug, set for the Princeton kid. Look at Skull Mike. A front row seat there. Yeah, I was just sitting there waiting for our player Josh to arrive. And this is literally like the first hand of the stream. So I was just sitting there. And I'm like, oh, I'll just watch this hand before I head back into the bunker with Rick. And then things, uh, as you see on the screen, escalating quite quickly. Set for Ethan, top two for Doug. And this could be trouble for the Sheriff. I just call him Sheriff for the remainder of the weekend. He raises him. 3,200. Yesterday, we mic'd up Doug and Jungle. Today, the players are not mic'd. We don't have uh, mics for the entire table right now. Looks like just a call from Ethan. Recent graduate from Princeton, in degree in statistics. Not too shabby for a, a poker player. So not only a luck box, but a genius as well? Yes. Ten of diamonds here on the turn. The ace-king gets there, the eight-nine gets there, but unlikely that Doug would be raising on the flop with holdings such as that. Hand number three, a big one with 11K in the middle already. 2550 uncapped every Friday and Saturday at the Lodge Live. Thirty-eight hundred. That pink chip is a five thousand dollar chip, folks. Pink five thousand, yellow one thousand, purple five hundred, blacks one hundred, greens are twenty-five. Ethan perhaps worried about the straight, but for thirty-eight hundred dollars, he's going to have to continue and hope and pray that the board pairs, so he can feel a little bit more confident about his holdings as he's reaching for chips, and he's going to make the call. Meaningless five of spades on the river. Nine Ethan's got 11,000 behind, so it's probably going to be He just got here. He flew in all the way from New York, New Jersey. Doug rips it all in. First time, table 11. Under the lights. And he is getting put to the test by the sheriff, Douglas Polk. Look at this man. He hates it. He's got a set. Pretty certain it's good. But uh, I'm not sure how many bullets he came with here. Doesn't want to be stacked on hand number three. Not the nuts, but a quality holding in a pair of jacks. Set of jacks. Let's see if Ethan pulls that trigger, makes the call, and gets a full double up, or is he going to let Doug off the hook?
chat is off the hook already, folks. After this hand, smash that like. Let's get off to a hot start on the stream. Continue that mojo from yesterday. He makes the call. That's going to be a full double up for the nine seed. Welcome to Texas. You are up wow. $20,000 in three hands. And Doug Polk's graduation present to Ethan. The double up. Wish I would have gotten that graduation present from Doug back in the day. <laughs> that was going to happen, folks. Top two versus a set. Huge hand, three hands in. We want to thank everybody who's joining us, a thousand people in the live chat. Slick Rick Skull Mike for some Saturday afternoon, early evening poker. Where are you watching tonight? Today, we'd love to hear where you are watching from. And also, obviously, at the end of the stream, look for the most valuable chatter award which we've given out. Did y'all give one out yesterday, or we that was not such a special event? give one away yesterday. All right, guys, I'm headed home. <laughs> great playing with you. That was great. It was fun. Yeah. I love ring. Love kind of difficult ring. yesterday with so many yeah. people in there. Thank you very much. So look for that at the end of the show. And Doug jokingly says, uh, that's it for me. I'm headed home. I had somebody say that then Jungle Man came in, into the yeah. booth, and you never quite know what's going to happen when once that happens. Yeah. Okay. What he's going to say, what he's going to do, is he paying attention, is he listening? All of a sudden, I make conversation with him. He opens up the fridge and, like, sticks his head into the fridge. I'm like, what you, what you looking for there, deputy? Interesting cat. You're somehow insinuating that it was my idea. No, no, no. I'm saying proverbially He just told me he's coming as a cowboy. And then I was like... Oh, uh, you should. He's like, yeah. I'm and, they, and then there were cowboy references. But then the, the theme went all weird because, like, you're the sheriff and he's a deputy, but why are you guys fighting each other? Well, what happened was it was like, I have to be something. If he's. If he's yeah. going to be a cowboy, I have to do something. Keith from the Virgin yeah. Islands? Well, I awesome. debated that. <laughs> Australia, of course. <laughs> L.A., Vermont, Keith, Orlando. Keith from the Virgin Islands? No, no, Where no, in the Virgin no, Islands, Virgin Keith? St. Thomas, St. <laughs> Croix? What are we I working was, with, Keith? Native American. At some point, dressing up like an Indian is going to block pets. You don't want that Oh, it, it, it's pretty solidly in there already. Ask the Washington Redskins. Oh, wait. I, was, I debated like I'm bringing it. Like, Kyle and Bones, casual, like, heads up. St. Thomas. <laughs> I've been to St. Thomas but, you know, 20 plus times, Keith. Sure. Very familiar with St. Thomas. I've been there. Beautiful part of the world. I wonder if he knows the late, great Mr. Mike Harris. May he rest in peace. What's up, Mason? Thank you for joining us today back in the sh chat. Came by the table last night after the stream ended. On to the next one. JD's in the chat giving his buddy Kyle a little needle. JD who played in our 100-200 game. What's going on, JD? <laughs> Yeah, we're getting a lot of those guys from the Dallas area coming down here. We welcome that. It's like Slicer's the Grim Reaper. Every time I see Slicer, I immediately get stacked. Is that true? I don't know. I feel like it. I feel like whenever I see you at the table, I just immediately use a new spot right out of the gate. Like, I don't think I've ever... Have I ever been at the table with you not stuck? No. I feel like I'm always stuck all the time. Six raises to 250, seven fold. Rara McGee in Coronado, California, Navy SEALs representing. Thank you for what you do. Navy SEALs, pretty cool stuff. Batman with Jack-10 offsuit. Going to 3-bet it to 675, and Doug's going to call with Queen-10 suited. It's a tote call. Oh, yeah, well, it's a steamer. Steamer. Thank you, thank you. All right, heads up. Oh, yeah. It's Queen 10, two pair for Doug. All spade boards there. Might go for like, let's see, action's on Batman, and he is going to continue on. 650. 
see how Doug wants to play this as a flat, or will he start building right now? Just leans on the call. Good spot here for Doug. Not looking for any more spades, but likely to kill the action. Six of hearts. Good card here for Doug. Five hands in, Doug has swapped top two twice now. This one's going to work out a lot better than that, that other time. Yes. As Batman reaching for the whole coloring box. A little sprinkle of this, a little sprinkle of that, and that all equals. I'm just telling you. 1800. There's a call. 225 change. Here's the river. Boat City for Doug. Batman's going to slow down here with his two pair. Doug will not be slowing down. What is he going to target? So do you think Batman has really anything? Maybe just a high spade. Maybe he has a 10. I don't know if he's going to go super big here. But Doug yesterday shown the ability to overbet a lot of boards, but I don't know if this is necessarily the board to do so. Mainly only if Batman flopped the flush, but... I don't think Doug's going to put him on that. And goes for a half pot, 3,300, targeting a 10. Gets snap called. So a good bet there from Doug. Gets a little bit back, wins himself 14,000 there. Two pair the right way. Well, I'm sorry, Boat City the boat right way. City. Flop two pair. Rivered boat, good enough for 14,000. So let's go ahead and set the overtime number. We got 1,300 in the live chat on a Saturday. What are you thinking, Skull? I mean, it's early, and this is a hot start. Yesterday we set the line at 5,000, and we got there. I don't know, I'm thinking... I'm stuck. Stuck people can ask. 1,100. That's what I was thinking. 1,100 it is. So there it is, 1,100 likes on it before 6.30 p.m. and we go into overtime. As always, the chat determines how long this show goes on. So 1,100 likes on it before 6.30. We won't say much about it until we get closer. But please feel free to like. Well, that, that I know is a liar because they shipped me the money. <laughs> You're like, you know what? I just felt bad for you. I, you know, Ratish is watching from sympathy. India. For a fold? Where's that straddle? So I missed the next time. My bad. Six raises to 125, seven fold. You can always get you unstuck. Let's bump it down. <laughs> 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 like, it's a little big. Look. Who's in for ten and a quarter? Pocket tens here for Ethan. Let's see if he can flop another set. Already up a smooth twenty thousand. Pays for the flight, the hotel, the trip couple school loans but it's early these two heads up again Check. and the 10 that Doug's hoping he wants to hit would not help him out although unlikely as Ethan has two tens only two remaining in the deck and he's reaching for a c-bet 250 Doug with uh, some backdoor possibility backdoor things as he calls it likely to call for that price 250 He's thinking perhaps, let's see, of raising. Doesn't think that Ethan has many eights in his range at all from the cutoff. Wants to apply max pressure. 800 perhaps for uh, trip eights. 
Ethan here not buying it, reaching for calling chips makes the call. So round two between the local and the visitor. Oh my and goodness. And there is the 10 on the turn. Are you kidding me? Is he going to get him twice? No. Yes. This is hand number six, folks. Hand number six. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And we have this much bloodshed? Between the same two players? Check raises the flop, hits his card that he thinks he needs, and now he's drawing dead, putting in $1,600. The kid from Long Island, Ethan Stony Brook, saying, I love Texas. Who needs Princeton University when you can just win 40000 in about 15 minutes? Calm, cool, and collected. Row, row, row your boat. Gently down the turn. And how's a little raise sound? No, he's just calling. Not yet. And there is an ace. Not really changing much, although the king-queen gets there now. Five point seven in the middle. What is Doug going to come with? A little surprised that Ethan didn't want to raise that turn. Charge a lot of different draws. Alexon just flatting. $1,900 is the bet. And Ethan's got a race here, although losing to Jacks, aces. But you can't be scared here under the lights. We are very, very deep now. Got to throw in a race here. And he is going for 6000 Ethan, you're really just giving me the business today, man. Straight business. Oh, God. Oh, my. Oh, my. Because I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to call here, but I just don't know if I can lay it down. <laughs> <laughs> this room is the worst thing that's ever happened to you, Mike. Ethan, yeah. welcome to the lodge, man. Great to have you here today. <laughs> Such a great investment. <laughs> oh, my God, really? Ethan sitting there looking like a ghost, oh, not giving away wow. anything. I, I, just, I just can't do it. I call. Makes the call, and that's going to be another right. knockdown for the kid. What a, what a turn. What a turn. Oh. What a turn indeed. Doug pays it off. Perhaps not maximum value, but pretty darn close. <laughs> Can't you just have it kings or something? I don't know if I raise kings. No, that's not a good Alright, we got a hundred straddle from C That's a rhetorical question. My goodness. Someone I can beat. This could be the hottest start ever on a Lodge live stream. Only hand number seven. I know. Yeah, he is and he was talking with him earlier in the lobby. He was almost in awe of being able to play with Doug. I've watched a lot of your videos. You taught me to how to play the game. And now thank you very much for the $40,000 you've basically given me in about six minutes. A semester of tuition at Princeton. Three ways to a flop. That is not good. 
seven six four a couple diamonds diamond draw for Josh open ender for Batman and a pair <coughs> for Doug Josh now with an ace and the diamond draw as this is his first hand at the table. Doug's going to get after it here with a pair of sixes and the king of diamonds. Eight of hearts, and Batman gets there with the straight. 7K in this pot, not much going on for Doug. Still multiple opponents in this hand here. But he's a little shell-shocked after what just happened the past previous couple of hands here, and he is going to fire. And this is a little spewy. Five point one that he just got from Batman. He's gonna send back. Batman never folding, deciding whether to raise or call. And after you kind of say that with a smile, he's just gonna be calling. No longer raising, now just basically wasting time. Throw in the calling chips, fifty one hundred dollars. And then stack them back in your stack. That's never what you want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Batman's going to take down that pot. Doug. Not a good start here for Doug. Half hour into the stream, not even. Basically punting off all of his winnings from yesterday. Yeah, played six hours against probably, arguably, one of the top five best heads-up players in the world, including Doug is in that group, too. Jungle Man played six hours, 153,000. Now playing against a kid who just turned 21 and a gentleman who calls himself Mr. Dr. Batman. Yes. And he's down that amount. It's early. <laughs> Doug sat down with sixty-nine thousand four hundred and twenty dollars. Yes, sixty-nine four twenty. He said, "For the memes, put me down for sixty-nine four twenty. There you go. When you block River and someone says, "I just don't know whether I should call her," you're like, "I'm fucked." I almost mucked. But then there's the there's the one said that, and I was like, "Maybe should I just muck?" Three ways to a flop. There's a set for Mr. Doctor Batman. Doug, <laughs> raising right away once again here. Hand number eight, ace of hearts. Gut shot straight draw with the seven. Another heart gets in, so he's got the nut blocker. But it's a set for Batman. What are we going to have here? I need some water. I need a break. Yesterday was a long day. Rainstorm in the middle of the night. Barely slept, and now we're diving right back in head first. No floaties. Another pop brewing. Lots of outs for Doug. That's not That's one of them. That's not one of them. Sixty-five 
6500 for Doug. He's never going to see that money again. Batman here contemplating. Straight's on there, flush is on there, but you can't be folding a set, so probably deciding whether to raise or flat once again. I think he'll just end up on calling the 6500. Set of sixes. Good time to smash that like after this hand. He's going to lay it down. Lays down the set. Wow. Perhaps giving Doug a little bit of a lifeline here. Nut blocker indeed applying max pressure. Lays down the set. That's hard to believe. I was already sending that money via FedEx over to the three seat. My apologies, Sheriff. Hope he doesn't lock me up for a stream for that. <laughs> and that might turn yes. things around, perhaps? Absolutely. Mr. Dr. Batman can't be called a doctor by folding sets. We're just going to call him Mr. Batman moving forward. No longer a doctor. Folding sets? That's crazy. Couldn't believe that. I was trying to give some, I was trying to give you an unfair advantage. <laughs> <laughs> 2,000 in the live chat. Yeah, Slick and Skull bad. here. We'll be back on uh -huh. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday next week. Uh, they only do one board, though. Especially Doug, who's just so steamed up right now and can't win a single pot. Getting coolered in two pots. Punts in one pot. And then bluffs in another. Mr. Dr. Robin, should we change his name too? <laughs> or Alfred. Nurse Robin? What was the, Alfred was the butler of Batman. Whoa, new dad. Yeah, that was not a good hand. <laughs> I've seen a few other bad hands you played, so. Oh, I played them bad, huh? You no, know, you didn't play them bad. Eight six five Skittles. Tio, we're only about nine hands in. We don't show the V pip nine hands in. It's pretty irrelevant. Usually I wait play. at least an hour or so yeah. to get more hands into the system. Obviously, his V pip is very high. He's been practically involved in every hand. But this is only hand number nine. Role playing. The handcuff clip is amazing. Yes, that is. Another eight. <laughs> Flush draw for Ethan. Flush draw, yeah. Is it going to be a what? Is that a warning for that? Oh, I didn't know. Backdoor runner, runner, although a bunch of eights and sixes yeah. on this board. Could be tough to bet here, but. You got to at least fire in a little bet here. Go for some value, try and target those ace highs, maybe something like third pot, 500, something like that. No, it was fun. That was, that was a good one. I think he's going to go for about half I pot. Think, I think the formats where people have to play like really loose and defend a lot are really good for streams. Nine, oh, yeah. four, then you just end up having like, good, all these Good call. Stuff, you know? Good bet. The youngster from Princeton takes down another pot. Slicer. And look at him. Wow. He's up so now 30k. Running super out of line bluffs against me. 
Scotty Blaze watching from College Station. Stay cool out there. I'm going to ask a hypothetical question. No. <laughs> you want to say, are we playing the seven deuce game? <laughs> you think he asked the question once the hand's over? Yeah. Does he imagine it? I think I'm playing so. the seven, right? <laughs> <laughs> As soon as the hand's done, it's the gas right away. It was, it was definitely a <laughs> no. That's funny. Oh, yeah, he did. He did. What, when you think Ethan goes into the barber, yeah, what do you think he asks year. for? Uh, goes no, for a trim. What, what do you do? Yeah, I've never seen that haircut style. It definitely is. Like the undercut bird's nest? I do not know. Let me get a, a one on the sides, but let it go long up top with a. I don't. I have no idea. I got nothing. Yeah, that's an interesting style. But let's see what the chat. Let's see what the chat says. Let me get that thirty thousand Doug Bunny haircut. The rooster? I like the rooster. Can I, get, can I get the rooster, please? That's that's funny. That's funny. No, but like coming to someone who plays in Houston a lot, I like the fact that nothing comes off the field. You know, it interrupts the game so much. Yeah. Time stops. You know, and you get melted and you just like tilted and melted out. The mushroom. Yes. The experience of close space, my time is Six four suited, three bets to twelve hundred. Over to Kyle. And the kid getting after it here, mixing up his game from the big blind, not afraid. Easy to start getting a little bit active when you're up thirty thousand in an orbit and a half. So we're gonna run some data. Probably more so during the series. That'd be interesting. Lots of people saying the sideshow Bob seems to be the chat favorite right now. Kyle's going to push back and he takes that one down. Someone's like saying you had to put a deposit down. You do, but once you go over. Excuse me. Just asking for everything. You were right there, buddy. You go, you go to Colorado, you miss a stream, and now you come back in here and you. Sound all nasally. I, you're I coughing. Don't know. I, I just. Do we need to send I'm, you home early. I'm not a good traveler. I like to be home. I love to go places, but I don't like the travel portion where you're at airports for four or five hours waiting. Don't you like go that somewhere part. for like a day? You've been at the airport for half of your vacation. I know. It's crazy. Thank you for your sympathy, though. You're probably one of those old people who show up at the airport like four hours before your flight. Oh, I like to get there early, you know, check my bag, get a snack, sit down at the gate for a little while, right? Four, four like, hours? Not four. I'm a noob. Three hours for sure. Who? Three hours? Did you check a bag? Don't tell me no, you checked a bag. I don't check a bag. <laughs> Let me re rephrase the question. Have I ever gone back and watched more than like one minute of a stream? No. Okay. <laughs> never showing you. I've never seen it. Every fucking stream. You know what? I know it's not that every fucking stream. But he's not even done it once. The thing is, if someone does something especially disrespectful, somebody will message me. Oh, that's true. How about that asshole with the 10-8? I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, you don't see? 3 hours 26. And then you pull right, it up. Alright, we got a 100 uh, straddle from Steve. That, that happens, yeah. $100 straddle oh, that's perfect. from Batman you see what, uh, in you seat 3. Uh, so they got a new table, and they're... Four folks? I guess it's a partnership. Six Maybe they're just allowing someone to do it, but... They're doing uh, RFID chips for cars, and they're tracking your stats. And allegedly, you're the only person that can buy your own stats. Oh, so, 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 
allegedly, you are the only person that can buy your own stats. Allegedly. 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 <laughs> but that's not really that. Yeah, that's not how that works. You're right. They don't care if it's my data. Yeah, like I know. <laughs> so, I think some of the idea where it automatically detects step size and stacks and stuff is pretty cool. But the problem is, if it doesn't work, then you don't have staff there to fix it. Bones from the big blind, 3-betting, ace-9, right on the border here, but he's tired of folding, wants to get active in hand number 13. Batman makes the call with the slot machine 7s, and now Ethan on the button, weak ace. He's going to come along too, rather loose call here. So, multi-way to a flop. A bunch of subpar aces and a pair of 7s on this queen-queen-8 board. Yeah, I'm not sure I felt about that. Two checks. Do you really want to stream to have all your stats? <laughs> no. Twenty-five hundred those asking how much Doug won yesterday, he won about 53000 so equivalent to about one buy-in. Batman bets 2600 and gets the aces to fold. Slicer's going to put the $100 straddle on now. Playing $25.50 with a small blind button bonus. The person on the button places a $25 chip on the button. The only person who can win that money on the button is the person in the small blind. If they win it, they'll scoop the pot and whatever is on the button. I feel like they, you guys finally got rid of the uh, percentage of chips on the table stat. Now you come all the time. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, that guy has 12% of the chips in play. Cashing like, who gives a shit? 300, yeah. Three calls? Rather than BVIP, we should just have like asshole degree or asshole nice. radar. And it's like, this guy's made an eight and a half asshole. And like when you like play something super out of line, it goes up, and then when you make a respectful call, it goes down. What was the tone of voice when you said nice hand if you heard that big talk? So what's that? What was the tone of your voice when you said nice yeah. hand? That seemed condescending. <laughs> that goes up on the asshole. Social credit is a lot of things. But we didn't straddle? <laughs> That money's starting to add up on the button. Even coloring it up, Two hundred dollars right now on the button, and only Batman can win that right now as he takes a look at it. Always a little reminder to the table when the money on the button gets colored up. Everyone's like, hmm, okay. Decent amount of money on that button, huh? There is. It adds up quickly. I have to fold the rest of the day. Like I got all my action in. Might as well just send me home. Eli asked us if his nickname is Cinnabon Forever. We said yes. Yes. He said you're going to be in Vegas in a couple months, and all of a sudden you're going to hear, Cinnabon! Can I take a selfie with you? Twelve hundred is the raise from Slicer. Three bets it. Back heard with Josh. We should get Nightbot, a command for Nightbot for the small blind button bonus, the, the rules. Yeah, because we seem to say that a lot when new people come in, you know what I mean? It's be good. Both players with the same hand. Ace, queen, offsuit. Josh with the ace of diamonds. <laughs> 800 is the bet. There'd be a lot of fun ones. If you ever get home with that, that'd be great. I don't know if it's that likely, but. Another diamond. Slicer thinks he may be good with his queen of diamonds if a diamond comes. But Josh with the hammer. 
basically on a that free roll a here. You're not on Reddit, are you? Well, I'm on Reddit. Okay, I'm in the streets. There's a, there's a sub for Reddit. For, uh, <laughs> There's a Phil Homie chicken sandwich subreddit? No, I don't think so. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting very worried. And you're watching him inhale those gummies or something else. Diamond here would be a disaster for Slicer. I love that Homie thread where it was that Uber driver that was like. I just had this guy in the back. Jump seat. ball here. He said he was a Who wants it? Poker player. Left trash in my car and didn't tip or whatever it was. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. And they just started like getting shared everywhere. I didn't think that was. Just talked about how awesome he was on, was on the phone the whole time. Slice, oh you're going to go for it here. Empty the clip on the river. Ace high. Bricks for everybody. He slows down, waves the white flag. Josh can't imagine he's good with the same holding. What will he elect no, I have to do? 15 bracelets. <laughs> <laughs> this guy and a friend, this idiot and a friend doesn't even know. Yeah, they have no idea. Going for a big bet. Huge bet. A pot, 7,000. Full pot gets, no, 12,000. So there were two pieces of bubble gum in there. Over bets it there. Ace high. Nice job stealing that money there from Josh. If you are a subscriber to the channel, you can uh, see one of the highlight videos that just got posted between Pierre and Josh. When Pierre put in a 30,000 bluff on the river. So Josh is tired of being the one who gets bluff, wants to be the bluffy. Cumulative winnings, you see the Princeton kid, Ethan, up $27,600. And who's down that amount? Doug down about half of what he won yesterday. Oh, those are classic. So funny. Those are so good. I saw those. But it's early, 16 hands in. I remember like when they were sitting there. Amazing. That they used to have a puppy feed guy. Yeah. One full. Two full. Three full. As always, thank you to Yoda of Chatsville. Doing a fine job, as always. Doug with Big Slick. Three bets to 2K. Come back. Try to get that bounty. Come back. It's one of those... You know when you're stuck and you get a hand, you're like, my hands are tied, I'm going to put in every possible chip I can. You know, you're just like, they go, man, I hope he doesn't. <laughs> like best case, you're both like, not even a pair of that ace thing, you know that? Small yeah. bite, please. What do you think Doug's favorite thing for breakfast is? <laughs> Always on this little health kick. But with no restrictions, what would be the best possible thing for breakfast. Because this, this man just has so much energy all the time. A showman himself, <laughs> stuck 30,000, having a good time, and now the man with all the money today, Ethan, wakes up with the Cowboys. What's your favorite thing for breakfast? Well, that's good. I like a good bagel, maybe a breakfast taco. And the Cowboys, from Ethan, the Princeton kid. I kind of like French toast. Nice, high quality French toast with that Vermont style syrup. Maple syrup? Yeah, maple syrup, but from Vermont. The authentic stuff. I'm not talking about maple syrup you buy down the road here in Texas. I want the real deal. There's a stretch of. Egg whites and a granola for Doug? Sounds about right. Sorry, Matthew. We love you. I hope you heard that. <laughs> yeah. It's all, all good, Matthew. Thanks for watching. Yo, 11 for Batman with Big Slick. Bones also with Big Slick. Oh, 
great call. And I was like, eh, maybe I can make spec and then I was like, wait, that's a three best. If I cold call that hand to a three best, the, the wheels are fully off the wagon. <laughs> We're just like swerving. <laughs> Shouldn't even debate the first thing over the house. Looked like you had a little tough decision. Well, I, I just thought it was an over. Well, it's going to fire in the four bet here. Hey, Benio. All in. Bones is going to make the call. Ace King versus Ace King. Same, same. Let's see if anybody can win a dirty one. Perhaps all spades. I, I, I love these. You love these? The max pain. The ultimate max pain. You lose a monster hand with the same holding as your opponent, and that's just. It's brutal. It is brutal. It's the worst kind of brutal. Did he ask to run it twice? Batman really asked to run it twice there? That's Come on. Funny. Club sweat. Oh, two clubs. Oh, Three clubs. Oh, 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 Free roll for Batman. Quite, quite the sweat. <laughs> 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 bullshit. That's exactly how I want to win. Are we, we're chopping down to the... Free rolling, that's the... That's the no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. So you get that. Okay. As soon as I saw the 10 o'clock, I was I'm going to completely max punish for this. Kimberly's speech about getting all in with Ace King. He saying run it once. Uh, just, did you just I did. Okay. Just now. Thank you. That was nice though, you got you got to feel alive. Yeah. <laughs> that's, honestly, that's the best result for me. See, we were on both sides of the mountain, right? I was going up, you were going down. Yeah, afterwards, actually emotionally, you feel happy. I feel great, yeah. So, yeah. I know, like I said, both sides of the mountain. <laughs> Who really won? <laughs> Who really won? The viewers. Do you the really want, do you even want the three clubs on the floor? <laughs> <laughs> the viewers didn't win, they wanted a club. <laughs> Don't care much it's, four, four yeah. they just it's wild how much the uh, viewership has changed in the last year. For, like, Six streams. calls? It used to be like calls? mostly like local calls? people who like you play with all the time. And, like, you watch the streams like, oh yeah, go bone, you know, whatever. Now it's like, bones looks like Matt Burger with cancer. Queen Jack Seven, pair of jacks yeah, for yeah, Doug. Like yeah. Top pair for Batman. Yeah. Yeah. Back to back hands between <laughs> Batman's involved in the two of them here. It's Doug. <laughs> Top two. <laughs> Batman sets the trap. Doug's not going to fall for it. And now it's two pair for all here. How many of these spots am I going to have today? Doug, not pleased. The ten of clubs is going to reel him in. Is he going to give Mr. Batman credit for a king? A higher two pair? It's only 1,500. What's 1,500, right, Rick? It's all relative. Do you believe I can? I don't like to hear that. I believe it. <laughs> Bad 
Batman looks pretty confident there, laughing, giggling, having a good time. Does his best Al Bauer and takes a drink. No eye drops. Pays it off. Oh, man. You just drove, just drove it through. Oh. Twenty-three hundred in the live chat here on a Saturday afternoon, or early evening. We need eleven hundred likes. That's too low. In the number. next two hours and thirty minutes. That's too low to get to overtime. That's a Doug says, that I need to stick the heads up. I hate full ring. Look at that money building on the button, the small blind button bonus. 325 currently on that button. And again, folks, if you're not familiar, if the small blind wins it right now, it's Ethan with pocket kings. Ugh. Second time he's got kings, and he's got all the money so far today. But if he wins this hand, he wins all that money on the button. It's only a bonus for the small blind, incentivizes people to play hands out of position, which is not goes. easy to do. He's gonna scoop it, watch him scoop that money. Ethan, the pride of the Ivy League. The Prince of Princeton. Of Princeton, the Princeton kid, you name it. Kids around the country are going to their barber shop right now and saying, me give me the Princeton kid haircut. <laughs> give it yeah, to we're, me we're, now. Rick, how many likes do we need for you to get a haircut we're, like we're that? I don't have enough hair like, to do that. He's got the hair. Part of it is you can pull it off. We'll just frost the tips, a little brown color, give you a buzz on the sides. How many likes, Rick? Fire out a number. <laughs> that wouldn't do it. Not enough likes. Not even for the likes? I couldn't pull it off. Here comes a big raise from Cinnabon. How many Super Chat dollars would it take? <laughs> 850 from Sticky Cinnabon. It's going to have to be a sit-and-go at the end. Yes. Seti's in the chat. Poker Traveler. Hello, Seti. I mean, it depends on the interest. And the formerly artist known as Eli Cinnabon takes down a pot. I've done no short track work at all, ever. You think anyone here has worked? I think anyone here in the room is crying. I'm just saying, if it's, if, it's, if it's 17 big blinds. Do they even have those anymore? I'm sure they do. You think me and Boots are grinding 17 big blind sentence? <laughs> Not Boots. That'll be fun. Cap it at 256. Nine fold. One fold. Six. 256. Well, we'll cap it there. It's like if we get 64, we get 64. If we get 32, we get 32. But I think a lot of people would love an event like that. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I would play it, not even though he's trying to play that. Thank you. Just the action Just sit there and grind it. Like you said. Doug talking about a heads up tournament that the Lodge is going to be running in a couple months. All right, four new streams. Uh, I'm picking my opponent. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> JV Joe asks why Cinnabon, because Eli is a very sticky, sticky player. And he also sometimes has a man bun. Yes. So Two and sticky one. plus man bun equals Cinnabon. Yes. It's genius. It is. It could be better than Salam Boy. Maybe... Maybe we pass along Salam Boy's name in honor of Salam Boy for Ethan. But he's only, he's out and out of town. You can't really give a yeah. nickname that sticks to a visitor. If he wins this much, he might be moving to Austin. Then we'll consider it. On Round Rock. Six. 
Ace King still in the lead here. Check, check to a river. Cinnabon's going to win this hand. David Lutz with the $5 Super Chat. Here's my contribution for the Super Chat overtime at $2,000. No, we don't don't ask for that. We, we do ask for likes. But we appreciate it. <laughs> but definitely appreciate it. And it would be the Super Chat for Slick Rick's haircut. That's what we really need. Yes. Or perhaps some cough syrup. Rick's going to be in the bunker sipping scissor. <laughs> Garza, thank you. Sometimes it feels like we live here too, but we enjoy it. Skull and I would not be doing this if we didn't love it. But appreciate it. They are, but I'm, as, as a Warriors fan, I'm pretty worried. Because you can just, the defense is just incredible. Three calls? Yeah, but Tatum's not going to play that bad either. Chris DeCop giving his three best nicknames. Wow, Cinnabon in the top Salam three. Salam boy, Eisenberg. Eisenberg hasn't been playing that much lately, but that name was pretty fantastic. He embraced it completely. I mean, there's some different ways you can go on these kinds of arguments, right? You say McLovin, I say Efan. Could be up there as well. White Claw Warrior mixed in. And I think that the the pool play lineups defensively are just very weak. So they kind of need to play with some stuff. I think having the Iggy Draymond lineup for bad because they just don't have any shooting. Eight hundred. Doug, in a casual conversation about Warriors basketball, pauses his conversation to fire in eight hundred dollars. Top pair. Yeah. Yeah, they all cause problems. Doug takes that one down. Nick from Chatsville, the mayor of Chatsville, hops in chat. What do you think he was doing for the first couple hours? He missed a fire first hour of the stream. He's going to have to... I'm probably going to give him a homework assignment. He's going to have to watch it back. Nick from Chatsville. At least the first ten hands. He's probably putting in work at Foxwoods. Or Mohegan Sun. David Lutz. Or on his MySpace page. With the $20 Super Chat Slick Rick. Haircut contribution for saving all your hair off your head, including eyebrows. <laughs> David. My man, David. That's my guy. My fraternity days are over. It's going to take more than 20 bucks for that, though, but I can push that. I can push that if they keep, if they keep coming in. <laughs> Where are you in this? We're doing this together. I'm, I'm the hype man. I'm, yeah. the, I'm the referee. You yeah. watched the stream yesterday. I'm the Don well, King of this haircut I, game. I, I think I still play cool the second unit. You well, guys, you yeah, guys want to play on the stream, folks? Message me, please. Please get in contact Marcus with me. I'm always looking for new people to play. You see that we're true to our word. Almost every stream has a couple of new faces. Skull Mike Poker on Instagram or Twitter, the best way to reach me. Or you can fill out the questionnaire on the lodgepokerclub.com slash live stream. They had uh, Marcus Smart wired up. In the, in the oh, yeah. It was, it was, it was good. Show. That was that was very good. You can just debo the fuck out of it. Like, smaller guard. Just take their shit, get off in their face. Two yeah. Four. But, I mean, Curry, Curry did well versus him. Three fold? Yeah, but, like, four fold? you listen to the, any of the uh, Raw Bob podcasts? Uh, with both of them? Yeah. He was kind of talking about that. It's like, not... The guys who are most effective on Curry are, like, the fast eight, ones. Eight, 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 Wow. Thank you. Main event buy-in for shaving your head. Scotty Blaze in the chat. 10K just for a shaved head. 
It ain't well, happening. They were, they were Take it to Vegas. Next thing you know, you're there. It's day seven of the main event. You have heaps. Your hair is starting to grow back. And you think to yourself, boy, oh, boy. This was a great idea. It ain't happening, folks. That's a no? That's a no? I would look horrible as a bald man. Absolutely horrible. And I, I realized that. Start calling you Humpty Dumpty? Yeah. Humpty Slick? Humpty Slick. Can't do that. I just don't know how they have a lineup that defensively matches up well enough against the Celtics that then, that then doesn't also suffer on the offensive end of the spacing. I just Pocket like sixes really for Ethan. Awesome He's really mixing right. up his game well today. He's being dealt the best of it, though. 27 hands in. A lot of playable hands, some premiums. Three bets here, 1K. Mario Lemieux, 66. And Doug says, all that money in front of you, kid, is mine. I'm coming after it whether you like it or not. Four bets to 3,500. Cinnabon's going to three bet 1K. Nobody wants to play with him. Just played a series where no one could hit threes, so they just gave up the fire. And the Warriors just played a series where no one could protect the rim. Doug's talking about the series, but yeah, he's a big Warriors. He's a big Warriors fan. That game was on Thursday night. Was simply incredible. Good game. Good comeback. The last six minutes, I think the Celtics outscored him 20 to two. On the road. On the road. Yeah. Should be a good one. Good time of year. Plenty of good things on around the clock, especially the Lodge Live four times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. You guys know the time, 3 p.m. Central. I guess, I guess a big takeaway, though, is that Horford and White had career nights. Career nights. So, yeah, but even for that, Horford has been outstanding. Horford was outstanding. So, that's not very likely to happen again. Heads up, Ethan and Doug. They were all. They were all. I think I saw that they had 13 made that were wide open. That's not good. King Deuce four. A pair of ducks for Ethan. Pair of kings for Doug. Two pair now for Doug. No clubs for Ethan. Ethan takes a stab, 300. Doug going nowhere. Six check. I used to all the time. I just don't care anymore. I just don't care anymore. It's so much 
Ethan not going to show down his deuce. Going to go for it here. 800 snap call from Doug, and Doug's going to win a small one back. Got one. I'm on the board. I'm on the board. Twenty three hundred, and there it is, the monthly monster. Five hundred K guaranteed. It's a six hundred dollar buy in. June twenty sixth through the twenty second through the twenty sixth, and what a value because most of the time in these five hundred K guarantees, the up top is about a hundred K. Usually the buy ins are a lot higher. This one only six hundred dollars. There are two start starting flights, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and day two is guaranteed to end on Sunday. Yeah, it, it's value-wise, it is a tremendous, tremendous tournament. We're running it 10 times this year. I'm gonna fire a bullet. Are and you, Rick? I will. With a shaved head? No, I'm just kidding. With a shaved head. And uh, you know, the great thing about that is you earn points. If you play in this series of monthly mon monster tournaments, you can earn points. Whatever you cash for, you 1% is converted into points. At the end of the year, the top point getters, I believe it's the top 18 point getters, will come back for a true free roll. Coach Summers in the building, just in time for a good one as Dr. Batman 3 bets 1,600 pocket tens for Doug and a sticky 10-9 of diamonds that can't do much when the price is 4,000. Lays it down. Ace Queen versus Tens, though. Batman and Doug. Finally, a big spot. We haven't had one of those before. Yeah, yeah. 8,600 in the skillet. King Queen Seven. A couple clubs. A pair of Queens for Batman. Puts out a lot of banana chips. Uh, 6,000. Big bet. Yeah, the monthly monster. So top 18 point getters come back in December. I believe the 22nd, 21st, 22nd of December. And they've already got over $60,000 in that free roll for those 18 players. So, a lot of money. All you got to do is perform well in those 10 monthly monsters that we have this year. Yeah, sure. At least I got to play a big pop, though. That's, always That's the important part. 22nd through the 26th of this month. $600 buy in, 500K guarantee. Uh, Ace Ace X. Oh, Ace X. I don't want to tell you because you're the player of the game, which of that I hit, but I have one. Okay. Ace is here for Cinnabon. He's trying to, like, right cost. Yeah. Under the gun after the straddle makes it 300 to go. Jamie, oh, that would have been something. I would have folded. You would have got me. Kyle, late position, is going to raise it on up to 1,000. And how is the Cinnabon going to play this one? Out of position, might elect to fire in a raise, small raise right now. Maybe something like 2.5. Or will he just trap and flat? <laughs> Goes for a healthy raise, 3,500. And there's only 5K behind here for Citibank. Oh, bad time to hit. Shows the aces. Expensive jokes. Expensive jokes. Thank you. Really good. That's not my favorite bottles. I went through like a two or three month scotch phase, but. Like, uh, I mean, uh, all the rest are sherry's. It's, kind of, it's, it's 420 already? 
I can be very hit or miss with it. I like it, but I know a lot of people don't. I get why. Good wow. time. What day is it? Saturday? <laughs> yeah, you've been here. Yesterday was a long day for y'all. But quality production. Is somebody taking care of my family, my dog? Are they okay? Snowman. I saw the look, I saw the look. I saw the look. Heads up, Kyle with Big Slick. I couldn't do it. I have no ability to make anything in the real world with my hands. It's like rolling a jug with a baby. I can't, I, I'm completely confused. <laughs> 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 <Yeah, it's laughs> if something in the brick, if the house breaks, I'm like, it doesn't even matter what it is. I'm just completely out. Check, check, to the river. Uh, my father-in-law gave a picture this weekend. We moved in our house really 18 months ago because I don't know how to make it. Seven check? Seven check. 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 Seven that you well, purchased at a local sporting goods shop. You know, like, the Austin goes. area is always in desperate oh, need no, of access. referees for uh, youth right sports. Are you going to yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, was... do those on your nights off at the lo from yeah, the lodge? Right. Are you going to go and become a <laughs> sports official in the Austin area? You've got the jersey. You're halfway there. Well, let me put it like this. If it was someone else's, Could I know who I'd call. <laughs> Somewhere <laughs> off in the distance. <laughs> yeah. There are crickets <laughs> chirping. <laughs> Respectful young businessmen. And chirping. I only referee high stakes showdowns. I'm like, it's 9 a.m. I'm like, well, I stay here all night. I'm like, great. You're going to be really, really ready for the deposition now that you've stayed playing poker all night. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Well, I think that's fine as long as he was at the lodge. He was. I told that story. You said the same thing before. Yeah, he was at the lodge, but still. Like, come on, man. Take a break from the poker table Let me recycle my jokes. Like, come on, man. Money's starting to build again back on the button. Uh, play of cocaine. He's like, he like gets a call. 
it's two in the morning. He has to like clean up because he got a jail. He's like talking to him in Spanish, like doing a bump. He negotiates for like the guy's girlfriend to bring him a motorcycle to fly. And like 2 a.m. to for him to take this case. Bumping lines, still playing. And, like, is this what I really like, okay. This is nine folks. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. I'm gonna take the side of this. If you had to turn me on drugs, easily you'd want coke. That's true. So, you know, maybe, maybe let's give the guy a little respect. Yeah. Yesterday, acid. Today, <laughs> cocaine. They <laughs> make dupes and trips for Kyle. I can't imagine who you're talking about. I have no idea. It could be anybody. It could be anybody. Nuts and Glory, good to see you in Chat Chatsville. Josh makes it 900 with 910 off suit. Are you crazy, kids? One call, six bolts, heads up. I'm out of there. I don't want to have to hire that personal injury attorney that soon. <laughs> Picks up a gutter, Josh, looking for a seven. Free card for Josh. Boat now for Kyle. Actually, more stuff like that should happen. That's so cool. You so just pretend like he didn't hear that. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know. That's beautiful. Huh? What, like, uh, what percent did Ali get married just so she couldn't testify against him? <laughs> <laughs> Eight's full. He's good at poker. Is the reason yeah. he's sad. Like, why are you cheating if you're that good? You don't need to cheat. The the chess stories that came out. Did you see that? Uh -huh. So uh, chess. Yeah. So Ali plays. Is that a real story? Ali uh, Ali plays Chris Brewer at chess for no money. money. Uh, Chris says that Ali plays at like a grandmaster level, despite like having like never playing chess or like being like an amateur at chess. Plays, they're playing on like an app or whatever. Ali plays on like a grandmaster level. So Chris tells a story to Savaro. Savaro's like, okay, I know what I need to do now. So Savaro also plays with an engine. Also plays what? Also plays with an engine. Okay. So they play like a 90 move, 3500 level chess match. <laughs> for no money. Just to, each of them like, you know, you being an engine trying to, you know, get over on the other one. Savaro played Ali. He's Josh lays it down. Just for no money. He, just, he cheats at everything. Well, okay, at least he's consistent. Yeah. Right, so we heard a good story from Bones. Story time with Bones. Talking about Ali and Sirovich. Who was one of my favorite players. I know, you've always talked about him. I used to play with him. He was one of the first members of Upswing 2, but all these allegations have been, been rough. But they're all, they all acknowledge his skill. Like He's, he's damn good. Now just has that dark cloud over him, which is nobody wants. <laughs> you know who's been crushing him lately is Chance Cornet. Yep. Yeah, that Our very own played here under the lights before. Was just well known. two weeks ago. Took down the WPT in Choctaw. Finished second in the 100K WSOP. Cash in the heads up. So. Currently the uh, so gave, GPA uh, like the number one player of but the year so far. Afterwards, you have so little oh, respect that you can turn a 10 high call. Poker's a hell of a game. <laughs> Both players with hearts. Connecting hearts. Yeah, I've definitely been in spots where I'm like, uh, he doesn't have it, he doesn't have it. And Jack. I hit my miracle card, I'm like, oh, he totally has it. He totally has Open it. ender for oh, yeah. Cinnabon. <laughs> See, for me, I never really think about them having or not Thank having. You. I just do my thing. Yeah. And then stuff happens. <laughs> but I'm also down $3,000 today, so. Who's <laughs> <laughs> the Stuff happens. 
Stop it. Can't say it did. Straight it for Cinnabon. The low end. Where can we learn more stuff like that from? Like when, when yeah. stuff happens? Yeah, no, like where can we learn how to play like you? Wow. I'm yeah. very happy. I'm with glad that. you asked. <laughs> okay. I'm so glad you asked. Okay. There's a site where you can check it all out. It's right. called YouTube.com. <laughs> I think it's called upswingpoker.com. I gotta say, I was slightly worried that there would be upswing banners in here. Everyone would be bought it. Were you bet 500? Just give it to me. And 75. I have a string. Where was that first me? I reviewed some of Doug's course, his heads up course, preparing for the heads up match yesterday on upswing. Yeah. It's quite funny what Doug looks like in that video. <laughs> his hair's all. Skater boy esque. And he dies in deep. Oh, and the heads up no limit. Oh, right oh, we might do an upswing event where like members of the Good news. Um, the first gonna, like, of the make a big quarterly the mystery the bounty the tournaments the here at the lodge. It just doubled the guarantee. Because everyone here already does. <laughs> 102 wow, so players remain out of 200, so congratulations. There's still 55 minutes to register joke, for that tournament. Right, right. We have to explain something Little to mystery you. bounty tournament every every couple months here at the Lodge. Not too shabby. Yeah, David. King Jack Seven. We may get a, a little Chatsville meetup game going sometime oh, soon. That's a good idea. Maybe this fall we'll put something together. That'd be sick. Right here in our backyard. Yeah. We give private tours of the bunker. No. That's top secret. <laughs> There's the straight Broadway for Slicer. Cop says barbecue at Skull Mike's house. I like it. Chris the cop. Chris the cop's invited. Absolutely. Mixing, making the barbecue. There's the V pips. Batman at 43 percent. Cinnabon and Bones. Gary C on the other hand. Uh, Gary C. I don't think we're gonna tell him the address. Hey, Jake, good morning from Australia. Good to have you here. One of the reasons why I'm good at tournaments is it's anti, so being skewy is really bad. And, like, I'm very willing to put all my chips and that usually, like, in games like this. Ethan, pride of the Ivy League, will take down another pot. So you you actually have real stakes on river flux and stuff. Mainly get called. <laughs> 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 real stakes involved. The big pot I played in this last tournament, by the way, we played like an almost 200 big blind pot, like midway into day three. How often do you play a 200 big blind pot? It was a single raise. It was an open call. The flop action was check over bet, check raise, jam call, and the hands were top pair second kicker and middle pair in a plus draft. <laughs> Sorry, top parent buster, top parent buster. I saw myself short. I got it in the flop with 9 7 of spades on 7 6 3 2 spades. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I don't think it's king 7. Really early versus mid. Oh, it's getting up there. It's getting up there. Yeah, it's kind of hard to hold the meat. 
I got there though. Getting there is really important. I had a must win uh, getting our prize with you against the French guy. 1,000. Six races to 1,000. Doug with the Gretzky hand. Three bets to a grand. Slicer comes along with Ace 8 suited. First time these two have gotten heads up today. And there's the set for Doug. Slicer's going to need a lot of help, though. Dry board here. Doug in position. Does he want to set the trap, or he's going to fire in a small C bet? the nines. Uh, oh. I like seeing the nine of spades actually, but then it, it went bad at that. Lago oh. says hello from Brazil. I just watched the six hour stream with two cowboys and now I'm here for more. Thanks for the content. Lago, thank you for watching from Brazil. Yeah, I was there for those. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't remember who was in the hand with him. I was just saying that. I was there. I couldn't remember if that was you or someone else. Yeah, yeah at least John had to get there with me, you know? Respectfully. You had to fix my off and you had to hit straight. That was good. One, two, three, Oh my god, you folded a set? Yeah. I didn't know you were going to be so bluffy. Three players. Oh, I told you. Interesting. Yeah. Batman just told Batman. Doug that he yes. folded the set earlier. earlier. That's, that's all I wanted. Look, like, if you told me you were just punting money today, I would have called. <laughs> King, Queen, Jack. Good host will feed you and tell you. A pair of kings for Doug. Open ender for. Batman. So Batman has some spies watching. He just got word about, you know, a half hour after the fact, 45 minutes or so on the delay. Finding out that information. Juju in the chat says he sees Jungle Man at Bellagio. That he was on his way to Vegas, so that could be true. I'm probably going to see him. I wonder if he's still wearing that. Yeah, was he wearing the, the cowboy suit? That's what we really want to know. By the way, 575 likes with an hour, a little under two hours left to go in our overtime deadline of 6:30 p.m. Central. To flop a set and fold. But you know, good lay down. Fair. 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 <laughs> right. Fair. 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 I'm, I'm not even arguing that point at all. I know, I know, I know. I really don't want to But I guarantee you, because she's a wife, she doesn't listen. So. Six raises to 1,200, seven folds, eight folds. Interesting flop here. Gutter for both, but Doug with the flush draw. Same, same here. A lot of hands this afternoon where both opponents have the same holdings. Yep. Not many chop pots, so people out there in the streets making things happen. 850 is the price Kyle reaching for calling chips. Doug looking for a club. 
And they now House is straight there. for both players. So Doug free rolling right now. Kyle thinking he's good here. Both with the nuts, but Doug? A little extra spice on his. Kyle just with 10K behind. You know he's going to fire in a bet here. Is Doug going to put the pressure on now or wait for the river? I mean, Doug's all over this board. What could Kyle have here? King Queen? Ace King? Just flicks it in there, makes the call. We're going to see a river car. Will it be a club? That would be some spice. And now it's Broadway. Broadway for both players. Chop, chop. I believe Doug checked his options. Snap check. Kyle's going to rip it all in. Snap call. Chop it up. Doug shakes his head, can't believe what fell, or didn't fall. Yeah, exactly. As we take a look at the monthly monster ad one more time, folks. Who's going to be the winner of the monthly monster? Is it going to be you, Nick from Chatsville? Is it going to be you, Chris the Cop? Probably not the two of them, because they're scared to come here in person. Bye. Two flights, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Might be you, Slicky Ricardo. Could be me. Could be anybody else in the chat that gains up the self-esteem and the courage to come play some live poker. And if you want to play live poker on stream, follow the instructions on your monitor, tablet, TV screen, whatever. Get in contact with me. Come down to the lodge and play on this very table known as table 11 under the lights and even with the cold and a stifling nose <laughs> and some little congestion it's still as smooth as ever under the lights i heard you i heard even brady did it once brady missed, it. It. Brady missed it the first time but came back strong came back strong on the second time gotta love iron mike brady chris the cop says he's coming late fall nice write it down take a picture late fall Chris the Cop, great time to come to this great city. He doesn't seem like a liar, so he'll be here late fall. Write it down, clear the schedule. Cool, Martin. Uh, Pretty cool. Six fifty. Five fifty. Five fifty. Yeah. Five fifty. Uh huh. And thanks for starting that again. And one saddle for one hundred. Dreamers, calm down a little bit. That first eight hands. Could potentially be the hottest start to a stream of all time. Yeah. He was, you know, he's a legend already. The pride of the Ivy League. The Princeton kid sitting in seat eight. I haven't been following trades. Does Pittsburgh have two biscuits? Is he starting? They have him and Kenny Pickett. Take it out. Spruce Steel will probably start. Spruce Steel will start until like week three or four. They have like a rough first couple of games. And they have like sets of homers on that for five. You don't end up being like Pickett. You're going to go to any games next year? No. I don't get up to too much. Ned, why would you fly to Dallas when you can get Texas barbecue here in Austin and this is an Austin stream? Come on, Ned. 
Ned Canada with not the wisest so my wife, comments. This is Chicago. 68,200 subscribers, and folks. We picked up about we, I, I, over I over 1,200 yesterday on the big stream. Games, we, like, we appreciate it. But we are not betting on the Bears anymore. <laughs> and she's like, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> if someone says the word doink, she like... Yeah, it's like a oh, it's yeah. like, it's like another reaction. It's like, it's like the dolphins. I do like the dolphins. I am from Chicago. Oh, I, I'll take the How many times has Ethan know. got pocket kings? This is at least the third time yes, today. It has been. Bone's going to defend the straddle. Let's see some spades. Oh. How about some queens? Oh my but there's an ace on board. White Sox. Bones just calls and continues chatting in a conversation. Six of hearts. Bones still with the stranglehold. Pot at 1.1. 1. 1. Yeah. 1. Will Ethan really slow good. down? He's made some throws that look pretty impressive, but of course, can he be consistent? And with the Dolphins, we'll find out if two is any good because now he's got Terry Carroll and a bunch of other ones. I'm pretty out on two. Yeah, I, Continues to fire. I thought he was amazing. 400. Well, just under third pot. Like, oh, we have the best player in every position. I, I look great. Bones makes the call, going nowhere. Yeah. It's the king coming here. But he like came in for that national nope. championship team. And then but it's a boat. Yeah. Boat's full. For and Bones. What is Bones calling flop and turn with on this board? We also have the worst offensive lineman in the league last year. Bones might be targeting an ace here with his sizing, so I imagine yeah. it's going to be somewhat high, maybe like 1,300, something like that. Really put an ace in a pickle. And it's a brutal game. You're like, oh, it's third quarter. The score is 3 to 0. This has been a real barn burner. Do you go in September, October, or do you go in January when you're freezing? Well, we would go when they go to California every day. Oh, okay. That's. That's how you should. I've never been Soldier Field, and I intend to keep it that way. Yeah, it's it's, like, it's really hard to get to. Really hard to do. It's not an ace, but it's a king it's here a for Ethan. I don't think. Let's see here. Not too many draws. Hearts miss here on the turn. Busted heart draw. You're holding a heart yourself. Maybe a busted Broadway draw. You're also holding two kings. And I think Ethan's going to be able to get up. away here. And it just cuts into your face. Oh. Yeah. And I, I, we're walking to a United Center. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I honestly just want to die. Yeah. Like, it's, if I died right now... This time, the Kings <laughs> are not going to do it. There's the Lodge Cam. Take it a look at <laughs> There's our boy Chris from the other stream the other day. You know Chris, who barely said a word on stream? Chatty Chris? <laughs> I saw him out there. He came up to me. Started conversation. I said, "Chris, I'm about to get on stream, but I'll be I'll be back in a few hours. We can continue the conversation." A rough afternoon for Doug after a profitable evening in the red. Thirty thousand. I really like that. Yeah, Straddle has been on pretty consistent all day long. Twenty-five, fifty, one hundred. Kyle's going to get after it from the small blind. Three bets, so, the paint. It's kind of embarrassing. Um, 1,200. Josh is going to come along here. Come along, Josh. Let's see a flop. I got a deepest pizza just to partake in the tradition. Fast forward two hours, I feel like I'm having a heart attack. And it's like, well, it's probably the pizza. But what if it's not? Two diamonds. So I went to the hospital, and the doctor's like checking everything out, and it's all good, and the heart's good, and everything's good. And I'm like, well, you know, I had a deepest pizza. And he just like kind of looked at me for a little bit and like slight nod. He's like, all right, well, you're good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I leave kind of in shame. Like, you know that guy left the room, he's like, you fucking... Is it just hard? 
Was, Doug, just tell a story of going to the hospital after eating Blue Malnati's pizza. Oh my How soft is he? <laughs> That's soft. You think Doug's soft? Let us know in the chat. It's like getting birth. That's what they say. That's That's soft. <laughs> when, when, the, when the morphine, when they get the morphine, they get all the women on the internet to love you, aren't you? I went to lunch, I had some pizza, deep dish pizza, and then I went to the hospital because I couldn't breathe. Look, they don't realize, they're laughing, they're making fun of this shit. This is a serious matter. Yeah, I mean, at least it's been through some shit. I actually got discharged and then went back the next day because I was like, okay, I thought the morphine would help us. I helped them. So in this uh, mystery bounty tournament going on, just to give you an idea of how it's going today, there'll be five $2,000 bounties, two $1,500 bounties, five $1,000 bounties. So we're talking some big money here. 87 people remain in that monthly mystery bounty going on right now as well. The lowest you're going to get is 200 there's two of those. Just handed this vital info from the tournament director, Anthony Chester. Doug getting some shame in chat. Bunch of members calling him soft, rightfully so. The sheriff goes to the hospital after eating pizza? Question mark? <laughs> Sometimes you got a man up. He probably eats his pizza with a fork and a knife, too. Soft. It's a thousand. You can take it back. You didn't say. I want that money. Might have to have pizza for dinner now, Rick. All I can say is I've been to Lumonati's. It's, it's the, the real deal. Yeah, I like it, too. New York pizza over, though. Chicago pizza all day long. Yeah, I mean, they're two different styles. Going to Wrigley's a little soft. Okay. Yeah, I went to a lot of clubs Detroit of style also, be a 313 here in town is pretty darn good for that. There you see the lodge can, that's the Mystery Bounty Tournament going on right now. A lot of people having fun there, that's the back half of the lodge, the tournament half. Front half is where all the cash games are going on. I, I, I really like Chicago. It's a, it's a great city. It's like, it's like New York, but not filthy. Yeah, exactly. You're in New York, and your first thought is like, wow, this is disgusting. Oh, Easy, my. Doug. Easy. Luckily, New York's a small state. Probably no viewers from there right now. <laughs> Pocket tens for Doug as he's shitting on New York City. Flush draw for Batman. Pair of nines for Kyle and the tens for Doug. Batman is going to lead here, 1,400. There's 100% pricing good. It's like almost out of disgust. <laughs> 451 Central Time. About an hour and 40 minutes from our overtime number, and we're sitting at 637 oh, likes. Oh, goodness. Uh -huh. All right, 150. Wait, oh no, I'm sorry, 125. 125. And then. Sorry. The other day I was. Uh, Thank you, Kim. Out Need 1100 by 6:30, an hour and 40 minutes from now. To give you overtime. That building is 100. I mean, uh, 100,000 feet tall. Like, where am I? How did I get here? All that stuff. I think I know the tallest in the world. I don't think I know the tallest. 
you know, I, I actually can't remember which one is the tallest now, but I was looking at just like where they're located, and it's just all New York and Chicago. Yeah. Oh, in the U.S.? Yeah. It's yeah. like all New York. There's like one in Atlanta in the top 30, and then there's like a couple in Houston. Like yeah, in the, the ones in, the in Houston that I knocked out a long time ago. One. They're all just New York and Chicago. Yes. And a lot of them are recent. Like a lot of the tallest buildings are in the last like five years. So we're in a bubble. Right, you say right? Uh, two raises to one thousand. They're either like very old or pocket the queens like, for years. bones. There's much, there's much too Late position here on the button now. A suited ace Three for Batman. What's he gonna do? Apparently we're building tall buildings. One of them is like, like a four bet or a fold. He lays it down. Ace king for slicer. For some reason, that just seems scary to me. Like a really slender one. And he here is in the small blind. Six folds? Yeah. Six folds? Seven folds? There's three of them that are really tall that are all on the same street. And they're all, their names are just the street names. Four bets to 2,500. Bones with the ladies. Both Bones might just want to go with this right now. Rip it all in. Thinking about his options. The thing that's good about New York is there's just so much stuff going on. There's just, it's just, I mean, it's the biggest city in the U.S., so it's... All in, That's all you can eat. Slicer's not going to be four betting Ace King to be folding. Not for about 6,500 or so, whatever it is, makes the call. So, classic race Ace King versus Queens. Both players with about the same amount. They're going to run it twice, it seems. So, somewhere, DQ, probably in his home theater, shaking his head. Sorry, DQ. What happened, to, what happened to blood? We're drinking <laughs> burgers. We're drinking burgers. Did the, the, the three clubs just take know. the winds out of your sails? <laughs> 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 when you join the Glenlivet Club, buddy, you can just I'll put the second board below. Is that okay? I am on an 11-day sober stretch, but I think I'll get there. And there's a king right there in the middle on that first board. King 6-4. Slicer is going to win the first board. And Michelle here is running that second board without moving that top board up. So likely to be a mini delay here. We're going to end up chopping it up. It's part of being a live pro, Doug. you got to know when you can right. One time or two times? Oh, two times. Yeah, you can go first. More women more than you can What? <laughs> she ripped that second yeah. board mighty fast. So, where's the best place to grab this thing? Oh, I just, uh, that's what I asked him. In, in Austin? Yeah. I'm not sure. I asked him before I did it. Yeah. Where's the number of swing okay. houses going Saturday? Saturday? Yeah. Uh, Maybe Eddie B's, Perry's. Uh, you could probably get Eddie B's. Those are both uh, good spots. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't yeah. say either yeah. one of them are like not Yeah, I don't think that second run out picked up on the flop RFID area. So we're going to have to update that manually here really quickly. You know what solves these type of issues? Running it once. Run it one time. One time, folks. It's all good. We'll get it accurate here. Choppy chop. Yeah, you won't get it. But I, I like the steak there. It's really good. Yeah, they do. They have very good food. Their happy hour is killer. About two hours into the stream, folks, approaching the 5 o'clock hour. Need to be north of 1,100 likes. It was a long stream yesterday. I'm feeling strong. I can go another couple hours if the chat wants it. They ran it twice, Rick. It went chop chop. Oh, King on the first board. Queens hold on the second board. We're just getting the stack sizes back accurate. Yeah. 
Just was out there checking out the tournament. Packed house. I always like to see a packed you lodge. Got the itch. You, you need to be, you know, firing a couple more events before you head out there yeah. for the seniors event. Yeah, I may play, play that seniors event. Who knows? Well, you can't enter that mystery bounty anymore, right? Because the yeah. registration is closed. Right. Yeah. But there is a Saturday evening tournament here at the Lodge. Ooh, you got your eye on one of those Saturday evening tournaments? It's always fun. I need to get some sleep, though, honestly. Yeah, you, you probably should get some sleep. <laughs> Want to play at the Lodge? Tell them how do we, they can do it, Skull. They know how to do it. All right. But if you don't know, this is your first time. In the chat, watching the stream, take a picture of this information. Hit me up on social media. Go to lodgeportclub.com slash live stream for all that question air. Cards back in the air. The worst part is I was Chinese. Or Chinese. Has the straddle been on every hand? It's pretty. It's, it's pretty active. Every hand, right? It's a mandatory 100. I don't, I don't think it has been on every hand. I don't remember not seeing. I'm thinking that was not. you from No, I am. I'm both on chips in play here over the line it was an open from Doug a three bet from Josh and now all of a sudden we have north of 6k in the middle a couple mystery holdings ace queen versus king jack and Josh connects with the queen Nothing unhealthy about a beef friend. <laughs> Josh will take that one down. Slick Rick Skull Mike here. Oh yeah, yeah. We'll be back Monday, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Monday's usually reserved for a 2-5-10, 2K cap, match the stack game. Wednesdays, we play 5-10-20, 5K cap game. And Fridays and Saturdays, we reserve it for a little bit higher stakes. We had 100, 200 the other weekend. Today is 25.50. Last night, yesterday, we had 200, 400 heads up. Doug versus Jungman. We'll give you a little something, something. A little extra on Friday and Saturday, but Mondays and Wednesdays are those uh, chances for you if you don't play the nosebleed games for you to get on the stream and play in our 2 5 10 game or our 5 10 20 game. Still very big games, no doubt, but a little bit better chance. Doug with pocket sevens here on the button. Makes it 800. Ethan on the straddle will fold his tray four. Back over to Slicer with ace 10 suited. Four bet to 2200. Doug will call. They'll head to a flop. A flip here. Eight deuce tray, a couple of diamonds. Doug way in the lead with his seven. Looks to be about 1,200. Let's get Michelle to... 
count it out, it is 1,200. Call from Doug. Oh, there's a 10 for Slicer. Now Doug looking for two outs. No, no, definitely not. If she had been a lawyer, would have been the Slicer checks, checks now when he has top, top. Doug checks, looking for a seven, doesn't come. Makes the call. Slicer's going to show him the bad news, and Doug says it's good. Slicer oh. wins a nice pot there. That's her. Quarter, please. Thank you. Oh, uh, Doug makes it 1,400 with 7-9 of diamonds. I did it like a couple times near the end, and the chat just went wild. They were just like, yeah! We made it for months. Absolute months. Heads up. Mr. Dr. Batman and Doug Polk. Unfortunate. There's a seven for Doug. All club flop. Neither player with club. Four fifty is the bet from Doug. from yeah, Batman. You handle that super chat. I will after this hand. Ace now, and Doug just cannot find a way. He just lost on the turn to Slicer a big hand. Now he loses on the river to Mr. Dr. Batman, $19.99 super chat from Daddy Dev. Jungle left town already. I guess Texas just wasn't for him. He couldn't handle being under the lights. 
<laughs> pretty good. Pretty good, strong so delivery. Taking food out of Josh's kid's mouth. Past two hands. Doug is in the lead and then turn bad river bad. It happens. <laughs> wow. So you called, right? Of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> You're like, he needs it too much. <laughs> it's going to be extra sweet. <laughs> Is that monitor coming on Monday? Yeah. Right, or it's coming soon. It's here. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, it's already here. Sweet. Ace three three. Two hundred to pair. Bones. This King High is gonna come along. Let's see if Kyle slows down. He's not. He's gonna fire again. Does Bones want to get really frisky? He does not. If there was a check out of Kyle, perhaps Bones would have taken a stab, but after the double barrel, waves the white flag and surrenders. Yeah, good point made by uh, the chat is that Doug has hit some ma big hands that just weren't paid off today. I remember the set of nines, obviously. And He's Other also hands. hit some uh, some big hands that were just uh, second place. Yep. Sometimes second best can be quite costly. Disaster night in many cases if you finish with those hands. Those are hands that Ethan's going to remember for the rest of his life, too. Oh, absolutely. He just can't wait to put on the gram or whatever he uses for social media. That hand, I'd do it. <laughs> Batman's going to take that one down. But we had some structural errors with the... Basically, we just didn't have bridge open long enough, and we didn't have day one run late enough. Uh, and those are both big problems. So, you know, it was just a quick hundreds of thousands of dollars lesson, but, you know, sometimes you got to learn those. It's expensive. Well, it's yeah. You can only learn through experience. You're just going to have to get third or something like that every time. <laughs> I mean, my, so first off, my winnings went to me, <laughs> not the business. Second off, say, did, uh, second off, it did not cover the overlay. I was going to say, did Jake and Jason give you the, oh, hey, that's great, we won, uh, won a little overlay back. <laughs> there was one of those comments. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I won it. Eight, <laughs> Nine the worst one in October was the monthly monster. At least with the main Doug mentioning the fact that he finished fourth in our main event, uh, our no, inaugural Lodge Championship really Series. Really really the what? The main event. Shout out to Al Bauer, Mr. Visine, and let's talk about the monthly monster, folks. 500k guaranteed. Yet another one. We're doing 10 this year. All it costs is six hundred dollars to buy in. June twenty second through the twenty sixth, you get two flights on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Each day, eleven a.m. Uh, I think Yoda is going to take down the June monthly. Oh, that would be sweet. It's Yoda's time to take down a big one. And then some people had already gone to Vegas. WSP was starting. And then we had not really been promoting that monster because we have been promoting the big series that we had just done. It was very easy for that to blend in with the last one. It was just, it was just too, yeah. Uh, but, I, you know, we're going to run it back. Hopefully we don't get Kyle here, late position, 250. Slicer, big line, 
a pretty 10-9 of spades. Going to fire in a three bet here. What's he going to make this? 800? 900 is the price. A healthy three bet. Doug, always so chatty at the table. And then, boom, with a snap of the finger, snaps into four bet mode. Silence. And a healthy wager to 2800. That's likely going to get it done. Don't see anybody calling here, especially out of position. Slicer, he lays it down. I was like, yes, I got a fold. And then he like, and I was like, oh, I have to fucking. The next Monster Monthly is June 22nd through Monster the Monster Monthly. You got a little tongue twister there. Yeah. Try it again. Monthly Monster. There you go, buddy. Monster Monthly, Monthly Monster. You call it tomato. There's a cumulative winnings. Ethan up 23,000. Not too shabby for the pride of the Ivy League. The Princeton kid. I don't think Austin was all the way there for supporting that on a regular basis. Well, one way to find out. devil's advocate. Five months, he's covered four times. So, you know, it's all right. You, you, you need our time to Austin itself. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If people have other destinations to go, Austin is the team, and then Austin <laughs> Another suited days here for Doug. Where is Well, we don't allow under 21. It makes that considerably worse. Really? You guys all do 18 here? We changed that. Doug hits his 10. Ace of hearts for Cinnabon. Lots of outs for Cinnabon. The number of people, remember, that's, that's one, one of them. That are under 18, they're under 21. Not the afternoon like for Douglas. And he's still going to come along. Top pair drawing dead, hot at 1.7. Still top pair. How much will Cinna go for? Ten fifty. Too much. Snap fold. Shows him. The ace. That's the quarter. That's probably the probably the plurality. So, Rick, tell me the the highlight of your trip visiting your son. Well, obviously, the main the main highlight, the main attraction where you went, not just spending quality time. Right. No, Boulder Falls was something yeah, to see, like folks. Said, uh, less than one just percent twenty minute drive from downtown Boulder. Less than one percent of had to hike a little bit, which wasn't good for Slick Rick. But oh, you sent me a I picture from there. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I've been to Boulder. I don't think I actually went to uh, Boulder Falls. I probably cool. I missed out. Pretty pretty beautiful also, city. Also, you're under 21. Must say. Of the people that are 21, the majority of them turn 21 in under a year. So it's like, okay, so it's really like 80 people-ish that's going to be like kind of really cool. It sucks. I mean, I was obviously we're all under 21 at one point, but it's way easier to do it like this. 21 like everywhere in the country. I mean, Six, seven, Indian, Indian, Indian casinos are 18. Yeah. yeah. I did that to Borgata. I went to Borgata with a fake ID, and then I got in trouble because the ID had expired, and so then I gave it to the security guard. I remember it was this like black dude with a big mustache named Lorenzo, and he looked at it, he looked at me, and by the way, the picture is not me. It was like one of my other friends a couple years earlier, when he turned 21, he was like, I don't need this anymore, and I looked at him, I'm like, damn, that looks a lot like me. And I was like, can I, can I take that? And he's like, sure. So anyway, I'm at Borgata with my expired fake ID. One my name is Derek Warner. Well, What's up, Derek? My name, the ID. And uh, he looks at, looks at me, and he's like, you know, this is you, but it's expired. We got to take you to the head of security. 
So I'm like, okay. So they walk me over to, to, to security. Security guards are joining us on the way. There's like me and like a bunch of like, are they even cops? No. They look like cops. They can be, but there's also licensing. They're with it over there. It's like when the extra cops show up at your traffic stop, it's like, thank bro, you. I'm, I'm doing 10 miles an hour. Uh, thank you. So anyway, head of security comes out. I'm now in a circle. It's like me, five guards, head of security. She says, let me see the ID. I'm I'm like, it, by the way, it's a felony in, 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 in Bogota. But you're so yes. close to being, I, I'll, just, I'll walk out here and we'll forget that. But I, the thing is, you have to just stick to the bluff now. Because if you try and do anything else, yeah. you're going to get arrested. So I'm just like basically all in, and I'm just hoping that you know I can only run it once. And I'm like, I, I gotta, I gotta stick this out, right? So she's like, let me see the ID. I give her the ID. She looks at it. She looks at me. Okay, again, not a picture of me. She goes, okay, this is clearly you. I'm, like, I'm nodding. I'm like, yeah, of course. This is clearly you. She's like, do you have another? Do you have an, uh, Why do you have this? Like, why do you have an expired ID? And I said, well, I lost my wallet right before I came here, so I just grabbed my old ID. It's a reasonable lie. Yeah, sure. So she says, oh, you have nothing else? And I'm like, no. She's like, all right, well, here's what you should do. Wait for the floor to change. They probably won't even check your ID. It's the head of security. <laughs> And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, and she's like, yeah, just, you okay, know, their shift travel. changed in like an hour or two, you'll be fine. I'm like, okay, cool. And then I just like put my arms behind two security guards, and I'm like, thanks guys. This whole thing has made me feel under 21 again, and we all laugh. And I'm just like, it's a good time. <laughs> you went back after the joke. I had to. I had to go for the joke. I would have grabbed my ID and just been like, yeah, I'm going to grab one chocolate. I never would have done it. I'd be like, all right, see you later. Yeah, we were going to grab one. Tell me about it. I couldn't. I couldn't. We're hearing some good stories today. That's a cold blooded 20 year old Doug Polk there. <laughs> Said he had to continue with the bluff. A lot of kids would be spooked, and that would be it for the session. Not Doug. He went back to the room after the shift change and probably stacked some senior citizens. Well, at that point, now I know the head of security gave me to go ahead. The picture looks. Like, it looks like me if I was in good shape in the military. So it was like. But it, it, it should have made her a joking with that too. Just yeah. like, yeah, you know, things really let loose, you know, ever yeah. since I started playing poker. Yeah, I guess like I didn't want to draw more attention to the actual photo. I was just like, yeah, she's sure. like, this is clearly you. I'm like, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. They must have looked reasonably like you. I mean, that's what they like do for a living. Is like, and then she's scamming it or scanning it. I'll bring her by sometime. I still have it. Uh, okay. Doug says he still has that ID. We're going to have to put that on blast. I'm going to tell him to bring that next week. Who the hell still has their fake ID? This man is at 34 years old, still carrying around his fake ID from 15 years ago? I had to give him my wallet because I tried to like hide mine or like hide his. I was willing to take the three tickets, so I was trying to hide his and then put mine out. Did you have a fake ID, Rick? Well, of course, no, like, everybody had a fake ID. ID. I mean, yeah, look, like, come on. I had a couple fake IDs. I had a couple get taken. I have no clue that is. Hey, give me an ID. I didn't really look like <laughs> anything close to the <laughs> person in my fake ID. What, are you wrestling farmer? What the hell is this? Exactly. Show me a kid in college without a fake ID, and I'll show you a kid who plays a lot of video games. <laughs> I'm not condoning or. I mean, you would you would I'm just saying. I grabbed the wrong one. Or sometimes you have to put your your ID with your credit card when you like uh, open a tab. I could be like, wait, just came the wrong one. I mean, I don't know. It just depends if the cop wants to be. All right, everybody, that's my time with you guys. You. Michelle is gonna wave us goodbye. Thank you guys. First love, yeah, first love. Um, when I was in college. Thank you. When I was in college, I, was, I had like a, I was having a house party, and we had a bunch of people in there, and we got noise complaints all the time. And this one had the cops today, and they knock on the door, and you like, oh, step outside. They're like, is anyone drinking in there? Obviously, I'm drunk. There's a bunch of people in there all drinking, so, like, no one's drinking. Like, I'm like, no, no one's yeah, drinking yeah, in there. Yeah. And they're like, you need to turn it down and make sure no one's drinking in there. And I'm like, yo, it's all good. And then we hear like, rustle, 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 in like the woods. And we're like, hey, you! And then like, you just see someone like dart 
they're up, and the cop just chases him down and tackles the guy, and it's, it's like, dude, what are you doing? Like, he made a break for it, and that guy got busted, and everyone else was cool. He didn't do, like, he wasn't like, now that I know you're all drinking, like, we're gonna go. No, no, no. Oh my god, that's amazing. Like, what are you doing, man? You're in a house with, like, a hundred people. The only way that... You get singled out is if you run. You think the cops are gonna sign up for that paperwork? <laughs> yeah, right. A hundred kids? No shot. Uh, tip flop coming here. Yeah, it's a flop. There's two fifties. These are mine. Oh, there's your. <laughs> <laughs> take him, take him. I saw him over there. <laughs> How fast did he pursue so you? Wanna... <laughs> so you're gonna keep him. <laughs> I just saw where it was going. See, guy. Ray, seven fifty. Jack's here for Ethan. One Ace fold, Jack for Kyle. Two fold. Raise three thousand. Not a big enough hand. Fourfold. Five. Should let him take him. Six. Sixfold. Okay. You're like, oh, my aces. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, they got fucked. Oh no, on stream. Never mind, you can't do that. Four bets the ace king to three k. Pocket jacks for Ethan. This kid. Can he win another one? Nine call. Jack's in good shape on this board. Ten high with a nine and a seven. Good news, Josh. He's a generous man. No aces remain available. They've been played. I got you, Josh. There are three kings. Oh, two dollars. That's five thousand. Five thousand is the bet. <laughs> no, that's the There's the call from Ethan. Sixteen point four in the middle. Ace of hearts for Batman. Crucial card here, depending on the run out. Slows down, checks his option. There's already 16,000 in this pot. Ethan wants it now. Yeah, now's a good time to get after it. 6,000 is the wager. Pretty solid bet here. Does Mr. Batman want to continue? Just ace high. Adjust his seat. Now reaching for chips. Way behind here. 14% equity. And he announces a... Big race. 16,000. And what is Ethan going to do? Recent graduate from Princeton. Majoring in statistics. Yes. Calculating his odds. Seeing where he's at. Does he have the best hand here? Usually just plays big hands versus Doug. Now it's Batman. Holding the jack of hearts here as well. If he's not ahead, maybe the eight will help him. So I don't think Ethan can get away here, but he's been a little bit reluctant to stick it in unless he has the ultimate nuts. But hasn't made many errors today. People in barber shops around the world now at a halt. He lays it down. He does make his first little hiccup. Batman gets it through ace high. Will he show it? Doesn't look like it. <laughs> Cards go to the muck and all those bubblegum and bananas back to Batman. Nice bluff gets through. So a little bit stop and go action from Batman. Batman. 
man up 26.8. With that hand, yeah. That was a big hand. Ethan back down 10K? Yeah. Did I miss another one that Batman scooped? No, I mean, just that, was, that one? That was just, he was up 23 and. Wow. So Ethan just says that was a pretty big fold. He's going to see in about 30 minutes <laughs> how big that fold was. Oh, you're a flush out, sir. Well, raise 250. One fold. Did you have a flush out? I don't know. I'll return some backward blocks. You don't remember? Good news is you can find out. Six is for Doug, Ace Jack for Ethan. These two familiar with each other from just this afternoon. Ethan's trying to catch his breath. Queen seven four. Doug six is way in the lead. He was out here one day. I turned into mainly club stuff. It was just, yeah, he was very just. So terrible. What are you? Sweats, blitz. Oh. Same thing. I'm pretty good at clips. Okay. Ace of Diamonds for Ethan here. Also a Broadway draw. Good card for him on the turn. Tough spot for a pair of sixes, and Ethan continuing to tell the story. Doug done with the hand. I'm too, yeah. Shows the ace of diamonds. Doug doesn't seem to care. Oh, dude, I love Baccarat. Getting to, like, really get to feel the cards is absolutely the best choice. We thank all 2,500 in the live chat for joining us on a Saturday. We're streaming four times a week. Next game will be on Monday at 3 p.m. Central. Very close to 70,000 subs. So if you're not a subscriber, do us a favor. Subscribe to the channel and then you can participate in what we call Chatsville, the friendliest chat in all of the internet. We take great pride in it. We thank our moderators for keeping it that way and we appreciate the Yo-Yo Gaming $10 Super Chat. Trip Sevens is the number of likes we have right now with one hour to go. We need... Kind of low, actually. 1,100. You're right there. Was that, yeah. a, was that a hiccup? No, it's just... I, I got this scratchy throat. <laughs> don't be spewing on yourself in the bunker. We don't, we don't want any of that. Do it for Rick, folks. Playing hurt today. No, I'm good. I just, like I said, it's, it's the travel. I couldn't do travel every day like I used to for my business. I like home too much. Snowman for Slicer. Mr. Dr. Batman with yeah, Ace-Queen. There's a queen like for Batman. It's weird how that works. I'll find myself, like, I'll be at the table where I cover everyone still, but I'm like, you know what? Make me feel better. I'm just going to have to play play. Yeah. Fuck these guys. <laughs> Hello, coin man. Good to see you. King of hearts on the turn. doing inventory on his losses today. Only down 45. That means he's up $8,000 in the past 24 hours. Not too shabby. <laughs> One way to look at it. Rick, you take 8,000 for 24 hours worth of work, right? Hell yeah. There you go. And he will over bet lead turn and then bet round pot river. Maybe over bet. No, I think he over bet the So like, yeah, I'm gonna have a bunch of nines. 
I mean, you're going to have a lot of money. I'm going to have a lot of How did the plot go? Was and I, and, and I, I, I already used the river. I like, flipped it. It was half half. You think King Queen's pure fault? I don't know. Why, why is it a 50 50 though? Because you're going to have this. I think, I think it's very close. Okay. I mean, I, you guys know way more about this. Single raised? Yeah. Single raised. Thank you, Chris the cop. I'm not, I'm feeling King good. King I just have this. Check what they would call. Just this cough. Over Didn't realize Boulder was so dry. Yeah. Okay, so like it's very reasonable. I mean, any any non two bear king queen, you're just auto folding. You're gonna have a bunch of nine. You're not, you have no raise range on the turn versus over bet. It's pure call. Or four bolt. Can you solve jack ten? I guess. Mm, I don't even need to really pull jack ten. This boy gives so much king. You don't think you can have Jack 10 then? Just naked Jack 10? It was 100 and... Oh, it was an open on the turn. That's what I mean. It's like if you're overbetting 9x, then you should have some other overbets besides 9x, right? Maybe it was, was not plot. I think you plot turn over the... I mean, that, the, the cool thing about Hazard Guy is I can just go home and run it. I know the answer. <laughs> it's not like Rings Poker where it's like you bet the position. I prefer that check. We are playing the small blind button bonus, so anytime you are on the button, you put $25 on the button. The only person who can win that money is the person in the small blind. Right now, that would be Cinnabon. If Cinnabon wins this hand, he not only takes the pot, but he scoops the money off the button. Well, also, like, he had a very, very, very sensible... It's like a hard spot to get really out of line. He has to check call the flop. I mean, he, he can have some bluffs, but, like, he can't even have, like, a queen high or something. Has to be, like, I mean, Rick, if you get me sick, I'm going to come to your house and throw very a good. pizza... I'm not even sick! On your, I, I, on your roof. And by the way... Shout out to Heisenberg. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Just pulling your leg. You ever have a, you ever have a, 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 a just a, a nagging cough? It's not. Mm. Traveling. They always say it's the nagging cough. They always, that's what they always say. Jack ten five. That's how it starts. It's all right. I can use a couple days off. Infect away. No, it's not. Open ender for Kyle. You know what I mean. Yes, Chris the cop has happened on some outer tables. There's been people caught cheating in every poker room around the world. And they get banned and they're not allowed back. That's how that's how that is handled. I'm not gonna criticize you. I think sixes are one of the yeah, sixes or sevens, I forget which ones, where it's like you just do it very seldomly, but when you do, you take it to fucking Vegas in the Mirage. And I thought it was bullshit. I want my live reads, Bones. You proud of me? Hey, I'm Kings. very proud of you. A great read. There's a signed copy of your book for every life what book is that? <laughs> <laughs> no, just so it tells. Increase <laughs> revenue streams. I should write a book at some point, but I don't know. I feel like most of my stories have been told. Three raises to 400. 400 from Batman, with Ace Jack Suit. Sevenfold. With the amount of work you have to put in writing a book, and you're adding something It's for older people. You just get a ghostwriter. Ninefold. It's it's like, I have several poker books, but I've never It's... Probably still a chunk, honestly. It's the time. It's the time for the other part. So, like, you've gone to the other part. It's so easy. You basically just outline what you want, then go to town, and then you just work on the business. Like, there's no set line for I want to I want to write the inverse to Phil Helmy's book and call it hashtag negativity. Yeah. <laughs> and it's about how always being critical of yourself ends up working out in the long run. Yeah, I like it. That's funny. I'm getting down for that way more. Not a good table talk today. Right. 
lot of money on that button. I just really oh. dislike the whole oh. fake positive vibes. And I know, I know, like, people, all the guys that do it will say that it's real. Six fold. The whole, like, seven fold. Like, I just, you know, I'm just so positive and, like, it's just good vibes to everyone. And, like, you're Nine great fold. and I'm great. And it's like, no, some people suck. Some shit's tilting. Kings? Bones will take that. That top down. Oh, Ace King. I thought I saw. He had the clubs. Uh, I was ready to put in some big ones. One hundred large straps. As market research. Not market research, but podcast research. My pod with Blisterian. I read through some of his book. Brutal. Well, I mean, there was like forty chapters of it. I played some poker on the uh, the island, Keith. I played in Red Hook, and I played on the other end of the island as well. When people do the whole, like, I'm awesome, look at all these awesome things about me, shit, I find it so cringy. Like, when I'm on my jet and I'm hanging out with insert celebrity, we just often think about how much money we have <laughs> while we're wearing our insert nice thing. It's just like, who enjoys this? You know, I was once a poor kid in Mississippi. And now that I'm on this jet with all these models, you know, think about how lucky I am. Yeah. Have you I mentioned how many girls I banged? Yeah. Oh, why I did? Well, it's true. <laughs> I just like, how do people like that? I don't understand that. Six fold, it obviously fold, works because fold. you see it on, on social media weapons do well. But I don't get it. One race, two I don't get it. Just gotta bang some more chicks. Yo yo gaming, there was, was no max buy. You with could with just like a uncapped. Dude, Every Friday and Saturday like, here on the Lodge Live, uncapped buy-ins. Bones three betting king like, five of well, diamonds. This sounds so great. Ridiculous. <laughs> 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 How does that get you? Uh, How does that get you? Uh, five seventy-five. Yeah. Every time I come here, I'm like, let's do the small one I bounce the game, and then I lose it every time. <laughs> Takes that money there on the button, and if nobody wins the money at the end of the session, they usually do a racehorse or a high card, or even sometimes give it to the dealer. If you guys want to play on the live stream, these are the ways to do it, multiple ways to get in contact with me. Skull Mike, I set the lineups each and every week for every game that we do. And I like giving people a shot to bring the action and entertain the people of Chatsville. Okay, so if, if Jeremy is the hashtag positivity of the lodge, who's the hashtag negativity? Who would be the other person? I have some, I have some, some teams, but you may not know. Race uh, of, of this people player. I know, like I play with. Nine nine fold. Fold. Who's always negative? Kyle's going to take a stab at this with a $600 bet. Deuce of diamonds. Now a diamond draw for Kyle. There have been a lot of that. A lot more outs. So many outs. The best slash worst part about them is you can't understand what he's saying. <laughs> Which is kind of nice for a bad beat story. But it also makes there really no point in him telling the story whatsoever because... <laughs> He starts getting into the Chris hand. the cop's still <laughs> laughing at the haircut jokes. <laughs> I, I think, That's I funny. Think yeah, he's great. The only time is when like he's 
So like, seeing the shadow, talking about how bad he runs. And like, at that point, I'm like, all right, well, let's uh, watch any basketball, Eric. Let's talk about something else. 1.5 is the bet. Josh thinking about it here with this pair of fours, but he looks to be leaning on the fold. So hard to play four here because you're going to hate almost every river card. But he makes the call here, so interesting to see if Kyle whiffs. Will he pull the trigger? And that's indeed what happens. So pair of fours is the best hand right now. Checks it over. Will Kyle go for it all here. What type of sizing would you do here? I like, I like 4,000. Well, he only has about 5.8, so might just want to rip it all. All in. He does. And a snap full there. So a good read there for Kyle going with his instance there. Looked like Josh was pretty weak on the turn. Kyle sniffs it out, pulls the trigger, and wins that pot the hard way. I see my friend Bass from the Netherlands is in the chat. Hello, Bass. We had a good barbecue lunch when he was in town for a few weeks. There's the V-Pip. Doug leading the way at 39%. Jasbo, the pilot here, perhaps had a little bit of rough air, turbulence in the air, arriving a little bit late, but he's here. Yes. Shout out to Jasbo. I bet he calls. River Queen checks, I bet, seven fold. He puts me on eight fold. So it's ace, four, three, queen, queen. And I look at it, and I have ace, ace two, fifty. And I call, and he has queen, queen, call six, two, fifty. Deuce. And he just gave me the check raise in the flop. Check calls the set, calls and put me on the river. And I'm like, I fucking hate PLO. This is just bullshit. Check raise me on that flop, and I lose. <laughs> How? I don't have any fun. Len actually tweeted about it the other day. Or like, it was a while ago. But I was talking with PLO. And he's like, I saw the pan. He like, like Cinnabon's going to come along with his king eight. God, every time we say Cinnabon, I just think of that glory, sticky goodness. The gooey center. The gooey center. King seven four. Which you try to stay away from, but you have a couple times a year. You know what I mean? Flush draw for Ethan. Yes. I know exactly what you mean. 350. You're too congested right now for a, a gooey Cinnabon. It wouldn't work for you right now. They clearly hit my head up. No. Maybe some hot sauce and whiskey or a little wasabi. That's what you need. Cool. Pot building here. Is he still Vegas? Cinnabon with that top pair makes that call. Pair of sevens for Batman. Ethan yeah, looking for a spade, but picks up more equity with the six of hearts. here 10 high combo draw yeah king eight not that strong here multiple opponents tough spot now just heads up board is very very wet multiple hard spades makes the call straight possibilities makes the call blocking the straight with the eight another seven there two pair kings in sevens Let's see if the young fellow from Princeton pulls that trigger. Goes for something like 3.5. Pull that trigger. 3,000. Eli losing to so much, and he hates it. Great 
Doug thinks there's going to be a tank situation here with Cinnabon. How sticky will he be? Will he sniff that out? Speaking of sniffing, those Cinnabons smell so good. Fresh out the oven. What's better than that? Seven point three in the middle. He makes this call. It's going to be a ten k pot, and it's going to be coming back to him. You put the money in, and then you get more back. That's how it works when you have the best hand. But sometimes you lay the best hand down, and then you see it on stream later, and it ruins your evening. It does. What does chat think he's going to do here? One if he calls, two if he folds. One if he calls, two if he folds. Let's hear from you. What do you think he's going to do here? Reaching for chips. Putting him back down. Pretty evenly divided. Makes, Makes that the call. call a good call. And this is why we call him Cinnabon. Very sticky. Nice call there. Good call. The artist formerly known as Eli. Eli. <laughs> and Ethan, all of a sudden, is looking at back close to where he started. The kid was up about 30, over 30 at one point. Up 30 in 10 hands. All of a sudden, he's looking at his watch, checking his messages. Make, make, maybe his mom need, needs something from him. I got to go, guys. Sorry. Craig, you know there's no such thing as a hit and run on stream. What are you even talking about? If it happens, it happens once. That person is never seen from again. It doesn't happen. It's never happened. Please. I know you're feeling a little bit with a sore throat. I, I and don't you got a, a, a headache. Throat. You're not thinking clearly right now. I don't now. have a headache. Speaking a bunch of shenanigans, you better watch your tone. You're promoting crazy. hidden runs on stream. Please, I'm gonna put you in timeout. You're in timeout for 300 seconds right now. I'm gonna mute. I'm gonna mute your mic. Go take a walk. Go have some water. You're in timeout. And I legitimately just <laughs> muted Rick's mic. And he's going to go take a walk around the uh, the lodge the parameters. It's a scam, in my opinion. Poor Rick, working <laughs> while he's <laughs> under the weather. He loves this stream so much. He loves you guys, all 2,500. He's the best. I mean, like, but he's in timeout right now. Allegedly. Allegedly. I heard oh. that. In my, opinion. I, in my opinion. I played the stream with Nadisal, and Nadisal uh, was Helmuth Defender. I think, your boy's familiar with scam. He knows it's a scam. That makes him a scam. I don't think Helmuth knows it's a scam. I think the way that Helmuth operates is, if he thinks somebody is cool, he thinks that they can't be a scammer. And so someone cool told him about Bitcoin Latinum, and she's like, oh, must be legit. He doesn't look at price. He doesn't look at what's actually happening. He just like, person I think is a billionaire told me this is great. So you're saying it's like a willful ignorance, right? Yeah, like, willful. Okay. willful. I mean, someone's obviously. Kyle, you want it? Willful. Yeah, he's got obviously. Yeah. Jack 10 here for Kyle. Kyle. He's not at the table and he cannot like play the hand. He was like two wow, steps away. My goodness. That's what he's thinking. Especially me, it just makes it possible. Raise to 1,000. I gotta win some back. You've been getting the better of me. It's time for me to make my move. Alright, I'll take what's all. Doug here, three bets, 1K. So, like, at some point, you're, like, you're responsible for. You're I feel like you, you have some responsibility. You are preaching to the choir. I have been nailing him about the Bitcoin Latin thing for like <laughs> six months. 
There's no one in poker who's been nailing Phil Hellman for Bitcoin Platinum harder than me. That's facts. So, if you want me to disagree with you, you got it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, oh, yeah, a little, little allow me to reintroduce <laughs> Slick Rick. Right, do, do Free right Slick right. Rick. Right just goes right. to show you anybody can get <laughs> the axe. If, uh, the timeout. Yeah, you speak nonsense. You're going to be put in timeout just like that. Wow. No man is safe. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> if, people want, if, if, if people want to clip that, that's their own progress. Suited days for Slicer opens the action to 250. Suited days for the Cinnabon. Raising on the button. <laughs> But anyway, my, my point is, I've been I've been ruthlessly going after Phil for the, the I mean, it's a it's a blatant blatant scam in my opinion. Do you own any uh, Bitcoin platinum? <laughs> no, but I've heard that it doesn't do too well. Do you know anybody that does? Phil Helmer. That's not true. It's not true. He said that, but it's totally not true. Allegedly. I love that when I say it's totally not true. I know 100%. Allegedly. That just fixes everything. Yeah, exactly. It's like, with all due respect. Do your due diligence with your investing folks. With all due respect. Complete scumbag from what I've seen. Yes. People are saying. Paul Edwards, thank you. I did enjoy the family time. Paul, people, Very people important in life. Joey, Joey's the master of that. Like, people are saying, or some people, we <laughs> use that to ask the questions that yeah. suck to ask. Yeah. Some Paul, people would say that you did. Paul. Some people are saying. I, it's funny, I just had this conversation with someone. They were telling me that they thought Joey was like, would throw people softballs. Like, he doesn't throw people softballs. He just couches it in a way that, like, it's acceptable to ask ball, ball, ball. Joey has done a good job of aces for Josh, king queen for Doug, also and there's a king on this uh -oh. flop. Because if you're going to interview a bunch of people, like and we are knee deep in conversation, there's a long list of people that are simply never going to come. They're also a straight draw. No matter what, they'd rather insert anything else than come on podcast. Doug, you got top pair. It's Joey, no good. Basically, everyone likes Joey. <laughs> Josh with the aces. Do some clubs, three clubs out there. Josh now. Yeah, the straights out there, the flushes out there. Doug's not going to get too hurt on this unless he loses his mind. Very close, very close to a thousand likes, people. At the end of this hand, please help us out. If you want bonus poker, we are getting very close to that marker. That's Doug makes that call now. Pot at 7.4 to the river we go. Thin equity. And a good card there for Doug, but still likely to lose some more money. Two pair kings and tens, no good. What type of value will Josh go for here? Something like 5,500. Sounds about right. Deciding on the appropriate sizing. It's like a 
I think that's full pot. What do we get there? Nope, it's 3.8. Don't think a king can get away for, from 3.8. Don't think it's possible. As Doug's stack is incorrect, by the way, he's added on a stack of banana. Yeah, so we will have to get that corrected. Each of those pink chips is five thousand dollars. That's well, maybe can I can I, can I maybe that one close to twenty. Can I have a ten? I got a flush. No way, Doug's folding for three point eight. Although he's going over what he's losing to, and it's a tremendous amount. <laughs> and I just got word from the control room that Doug's stack has been fixed in the future, so that will be updated here shortly. But right now he's facing a bet of 3.8. Losing to a lot, but getting a good price with uh, King Queen here. Can he get away? Come on, Doug, lay it down. Lay it down one time. And my first discipline lay down of the night. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be just in, in. So it's almost enough. Oh, I used to love Chinese. Oh, God. Don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. He's laying it down, oh. folks. Good lay down by Doug. No! No! Do it. Shows oh. one ace. Take over, yeah. It's going to make him think ace. about it. Oh, they want an estimate count. I thought it was an estimate. You want an estimate? Is that the estimate? Less. Tell them less. Said less. <laughs> what a troll are we going to count down? Good lord. 86. Yeah, There's your cumulative winnings. Batman up 28,500. Cinnabon now <clears throat> up 9,800. Doug is throwing the party. 47,000. The only one throwing. It's a Doug party at the lodge. But if you think about it, still up in the 24 hour period. About $6,000. Not too shabby. shabby. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's Josh, so I better pull him. I'll pay everybody else. No, All 2,700 of you guys in the chat, if I could I say you could win $6,000 in 24 yeah. hours, who's Josh, gonna say no? Um, no, second to last. Not I one of you guys. Great fold, though, by Doug. No going back. Had the no two pair, back. kings and tens. So, Six uh, fold, seven I'm fold. Trying not to break the Josh just yes. informed Doug yeah, what he had the last he hand. Didn't say shit off. That's great. That's good. That was a good pull. Doesn't actually make you money, but you know it's a step in the right direction. If you think about the the eight seat, our boy Ethan, and then if you were a loyal member of Chatsville, which I know a lot of you guys are, and yeah. you watched the stream on so Monday, yeah. Think about how many words Chris said. Yes. Versus how many words Ethan has said. It's very quiet. Six fold, seven fold, eight fold. Is it about 27 to about 6,000? Yeah, it's, it's not even close. Raise to 250. One fold. Fold. Maybe we should name Chris if he comes back on stream The Bunk. The Bunk. <laughs> That's funny. We got 30 minutes, folks. 29 minutes to be exact to get to the overtime number. We need 1100 on or before 6:30 p.m. Central Time. It's now 6:02 Central Time, and we're sitting at 9:49. 151 likes, folks, in the next 28 minutes. Can we do it? It's up to chat. Always is. No. 
I was like, math, 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 math. Thank you, Christian Ruiz. Can I get some chips, goddammit? I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it 1,200. Doug with the 6'7 suited. What kind of construction do you do? He's gonna make it 1,200. Oh, Thank you, Isaac Landon. Ace King seven. Doug hits. Pair sevens. Broadway draw for Josh. Backdoor flush opportunity. <laughs> There's, there's certain parts of it that, that like, people would get passed on as a homeowner, yeah. and then there's certain trades that, like, I'm sure there's some things that is in there, right? Probably like, they're upcharging the... These the two meet again. Eight of diamonds. <laughs> More outs for Doug. But he's in the lead, so it doesn't need anything uh, as Josh behind looking for some assistance. But he's going to like that out. turn card. Might not think he's ahead with his pair of sevens, but he's good. 6,000 is the wager, and Josh lays it down. <laughs> yeah, Doug's chip stack has been updated. Replenished. Replenished, yeah. It was those pink chips. It's like when you're playing a, a video game <laughs> and you're bleeding and bleeding, and then you see the little red cross. You get an extra boost, yeah. a new life. There, there's a hand that Jamie played in the bigger game that you guys played where he gets it in with queens against that guy. Could you do a poker hands on that and talk about how terrible that hand was? <laughs> do you know <laughs> what you're doing? I mean, I, 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 I had to. Gosh, my, my friend. You guys have been spamming. Uh, you know, actually, we have a, 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 a two weeks from now, we have a one and two game going. I'm just kidding. Just roasting. Just Plenty of big games on the horizon, just like Doug mentioned. We have a multiple 100, 200 games on the schedule. Next Saturday, a special event stream with DQ, Livebury, yes. amongst others. So you better be a subscriber. You better like each and every video. And you better have some fun while watching. You know what, actually, Bones, I said that to you specifically because I feel like your small blind play can be a little bit of work. That one was it's just to you. It's like coming from Doug Cole. So. Right, but I was like, you know. Yeah, yeah. That was me to you. It was, it was to my email. I woke up in, uh, was it Tuesday morning? Yeah, it was Tuesday. Tuesday morning, I always wake up and I think, what does Bones need to learn today? <laughs> and then I send you an email. Small blind, uh, super <laughs> blind, small blind play. <laughs> You're welcome. Was it a good article? It was, it was great. Good. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Pleasure playing with y'all. Uh, we wait. Oh, you're not? <laughs> Batman is. It's a color up. up. It's the old fashioned <laughs> color up. He probably got word <laughs> from earlier. There's the Lizard of Lodge. Josh Lozano with the headset on. Looking quite squiggly. The Lizard of Lodge. <laughs> As he runs off into the distance. He did a good thing. It was a good thing. Oh, yeah. I totally. Totally. It sounded like someone who's. Yeah, getting to be that time of the afternoon. He's the kind of guy that was leaving halfway through the All right, guys. I have to go enjoy the wonderfulness that is having a child, right? It's great, but you're tired all the time, but it's the most amazing thing. There you go. What time is it? Someone has a watch something? Raise 250. Five times. Two fold, three fold. How have I lost some of their tops already? I mean, you got a lot of another layer. Yeah. Joey Pick. Six fold, six fold. Have a high fold. Joey. Joey Pick. Joey Pick. If for those Whoa, true, knowledgeable <laughs> Lodge Live <laughs> fans. Anyone that watched the stream knows I am in the top four losers people. <laughs> DQ, Drunk Adam. <laughs> and then there's got to be one or two more. And there's Doug. Consistently. Dude, if y'all get me on the PLO stream, you will see a 40% plus feedback. Yeah, I, I, I respectfully didn't play that because I was like, it's, it would just be how bad I am at PLO 
to play 5100 PLO, it would just be downright silly. So then I hopped in after the stream. <laughs> <laughs> I, I walk over to the game, like, open seat suck, and then I see like the 200 shuttles on and the 400 shuttles on, and I'm like, let me get some chips. <laughs> yeah, I throw a party for everyone. <laughs> oh, yeah, you did throw the party. Yeah. Okay. Raise to 14. You got you got bluffed by. Six what was that? Seven four. What guy's name is? Eight four. Dude, so he just came down three. one one a couple big plots, ran it versus you for the whole Nine, the whole clip, I don't know what I'm and then and then just slapped yeah. it up. Who's that hold him get it and never plays PLO, right? Just, 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 he played he played really well that yeah, night. Yeah yeah no no I'm just saying yeah. like he's not a PLO player. Like the spot he put, in for like five he, he put Josh right? in a really tough spot. I got a pull. Well, Batman's gonna go set mining. We already saw one deuce dead, so I think only one more remain. But still in the lead. All diamonds on that flop. Batman does have a diamond in his hand. It's been good. It's great action. Done a lot of cool events. Good Mexican. Pretty good stakes. Good. Two. Flush now for Batman. That's gonna do it. Yeah, I thought I had a read. Six ten. Did we reach our marker, Rick? What's the cutoff time? Six thirty. We've got twenty Every minutes. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows the rules. One if you like it, two if you don't. <laughs> Sitting at 1K, folks. Let's get a couple hundred push here on the like total. Josh lays it down. Kyle will take it. Oh, yeah. The great thing about Scotch, too, is, so like for example, the, the, the other thing I like other than Scotch is beer. But when you have beer, you get so bloated. So bloated. Especially, I like the wheat beers. Oh, my God. I just, like, turn into a blimp. The, the, night, the night before I won the one drop, I drank like a six pack of wheat beer, and I was just like, like a blimp the next day, and then like I'm like, like here's my bracelet, and I'm just like, God, why did I do this day of all days? Doug Good blaming day. his fat yeah. bracelet picture <laughs> on wheat beer. That's shit. Probably, probably he probably had too many sandwiches for about six weeks time prior. That's a really bad thing. Shout out to Scotch. Because so then that what it turns into, and like you don't have a boss. You and me. So you we don't have hangovers. Oh, yeah, you don't have a boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can basically just drink okay. yeah, any time. And it's okay. Seven? Seven. I get fall seven. seven. Yeah. And then I can't sleep. Or two drinks. Oh, my, that's uh, yeah. my sleep gets way fucked. Yeah, everybody gets bad sleep. Way messed. Way messed up. But like pain or like headaches. Broadway draw for both players. I actually, I get a reverse hangover. I get like an energy burst bet. in the morning. Oh. You might have the uh, your, your ancestry with Irish. Uh, <laughs> mainly English. Straight for We're Batman. Not, He's relying on some stereotypes. <laughs> He's Irish, so he must be a little strange. Stereotypes? Yeah, stereotypes exist for a reason. They have some truth. That's why I spoke with you. Yeah, we know. Wasting no time reaching for chips. 1500. Ethan Parrot Kings. And looking for a queen to Broadway. It's going to make the call, drawing only to a chop. That's how I hate weed so much. I wish I liked it. I really do. It's so healthy compared. It's like board pairs. I wish that was me. Big bet coming. 
Don't want, it to, don't want it to be too big. You already carved out 3,000 there. It's about it's a good size. I'm going to say you've got the wrong kind of weed, man. I know, I know. I'm here to find that speech. Don't think we're going to see Ethan make this call. I, I told him basically all my stories are lost right now. We're five yeah. months in, you've heard the whole stuff. <laughs> but I, just don't I stand know who correct. Call, I Makes that call. A couple draws miss, couple things get there. Believes in his two pair. Thought maybe they were Bro, chopping, you perhaps. Really chill in the car. Makes the call. <laughs> <laughs> You're smoking that sativa. That's just, it just, it's too high energy. It doesn't, you're missing the I believe Ethan is now down for the first time tonight. Mr. Batman, well in the lead. So we were talking about acid yesterday, cocaine earlier. You were, you were not now the green stuff. The green stuff is okay. Had to. You know what I'm talking about. You don't give me that look. You're at a volcano. No? Come on. You got a volcano. Hold on, did you have a volcano? I don't know what a volcano is. It's funny. You, you, know you had a volcano, right? Oh, Josh. Let's listen up. Did you have a volcano or not? Right. Yes, you did. <laughs> Do you see that? <laughs> That's a live read. Pocket Kings for a slicer. Josh owned a volcano? Oh, Interesting. He was a successful I rented a volcano. You don't win the Borgata game and smoke weed out of a grocery bag. Slicer, you want another five months? Yeah, Thank you. I have seen internet comments when I win things here. They're like, I just don't think it's right that his owner is playing in his own room. <laughs> I mean, what's up with that? It's like, oh yeah, man. Yeah. 80% of my play happens on stream with seven other people and however many thousands of viewers. I'm just scamming people out here. You're Come not doing on, a very good job. Shouldn't you be winning a little bit more if you're scamming people? <laughs> that was a better joke months ago. Yeah. I'm up money here today. That's true. Even after today, somehow. Slicer with the Cowboys. So if you track things like that, it's not over yet. Four bets it wow. to 2,000. Well, when you Ethan lays it down, you Ethan's. Taxes, <laughs> you well, what can I do to win a hand now? Allegedly. No, that's not even allegedly. That's just what happened. Yeah, 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 well, you gotta have Dean, you gotta have Dr. McKenzie. It's a good question, Yoda. I don't know. We'll have to ask oh, come Iron on, Mike Brady You're if we went back to. Whatever, <laughs> dude. That's crazy talk. That is absolutely crazy. Actually, Folks being able to no, chat me. without being subscribed to the channel. Yeah, that's the bigger one. Didn't that one dude pull down yeah. like a hundred and something? We'll check on that. Good, good yeah, notice. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm still probably up like over a hundred. I'm certainly, yeah, I'm certainly nowhere near those numbers. The tournaments are lost, I yes. In cash games. Cash games. I've done good this year. Or, well, could you beat you? I don't want to poke Ooh, maybe Pierre, actually. Yeah, there's. Oh, here's the big one uh, a few days ago. A few days ago? What went? Uh, what game was that? It was a week ago or two weeks ago? Okay, okay. alright. It was. They were playing like three innings and lost like 80 game box. Yeah. What, what game? It was Folks, we did hit overtime. Game. Congratulations. Uh, yeah. And after stream broke. 1,100 yeah. likes on or before yeah. 6.30. Stream breaks, they're playing like three games. Pierre, Derek, and... So you two, did it. Two of Louisiana guys, so four handed. Oh, okay. What's there ever a doubt? Caught, like, was there Louisiana ever a doubt? Pierre, Not today, on a Saturday. Yeah. That's pretty brutal. All the fun we're having. Derek's an enigma, by the way. He's a private guy. I don't want to talk about him too much. But he's, he's an enigma. He, uh, I played a home game with him last week. He swore he is one a 10k free roll if he ever played a home game with me again. Not and, like you? Yeah. Why? It was from like me winning like 30 seconds. That's actually. Now that I know that, we might have to put you on the blacklist here. Yeah. You went three bucks in a row. You didn't even have the common decency. You just pulled the third hand. I know. It wasn't even three consecutive pots. Just three hands that you played. Yeah, we, we kept three hands together. I won, I won three. Audible side. Get it through, you know. Most of my three bets are the reasonable. 
There was probably one or two. We well, showed the nine. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah, that was just cool. On to the next tape. <laughs> We're on for another 45 minutes or so. And then we'll shut it down for the weekend and come back on Monday at 3 p.m. Central for another edition of Lodge Live. Now, that's, that's, that's a fluke because I would definitely just pound you with some light hands for no reason. But just as it ha so happens today, yeah, sure. they were in line. So now I'm going to think every time you do, I mean, you got it. I forbid hit once with some complete garbage. So that was super out of line. Um, our hand was maybe debatable. There's been some light stuff, but not, not that one. Yeah, it king's hand that one hand for it. I was just like... We're going for it here. Take it to the streets. How bad could that uh, four bet six four versus Jack spin and Jack six four? Six four. Uh, that could have been dangerous. Versus Mariano. Yeah, that was a four oh, yeah, yeah. There was a six or a four on that board after the flop. That would have been the worst. Ace beat. ten queen, <laughs> couple of spades. Yeah, you were totally the biggest paw and the worst beat, and I would have had to see that hand everywhere for forever. Like, look at this crazy board over boat. Check, check. What do you ask to run it twice? Arrows point at my jab. face as I get stacked. Well, whatever. Doubles up. Cinnabon gets there with a pair of sevens as long as he stays here. Oh I've recently acquired a pair of sevens. Okay. How has that happened to me twice here already? <laughs> what was the second time? No, I mean, the three that oh, yeah, you're yeah, referencing yeah. that, right? Yeah, so Poker Chat Pro, you can watch all of our past shows on our channel in the archive. I encourage you, go back and see a couple from the very beginning. Look at some from the middle. We've been doing this for about a year and a half. And definitely, I think it is only getting better for the Lodge Live. As we're currently in the process of building out a YouTube studio next door. We've got a lot of big plans that will be forthcoming. So it's only going to get better from here, folks. If you're enjoying yourself with the games we're putting on, it's only going to get better. Kyle raises the 250 with Queen Jack suited. Ace, ace, four, couple of hearts out there. Kyle with the heart draw. I feel like the buy-in structure changes to our lower six cash games have gone pretty well overall. Yeah. What'd you do? So we added bomb pots back to 1-3, but we capped them, we capped our bomb pots. Of course we just put them. Oh, capped well, bomb pots, sorry. Just to make it so you don't get stacked in the bomb right, pots, right, basically. Right. And then we capped buy-ins, we hard capped them rather than match the stack. So we made the cap pretty deep. 6,000 so at 1-3, 2k, 2 So is that why 5-10s run here more often now? Well, we also started a program to try and incentivize that game and run where there's first hour is free. And it starts every day at 3 if people are here. You know what Poker Atlas cool. needs is they need the ability to notify you whenever a game X size runs. They need to put that in. The yeah, I agree. Um, they, they can, kind of. Like, if they have a table going and everyone's on a wait list. Well, I guess right. so, but I'm and just saying, like, it'd be nice sitting at home and instead of checking Poker oh, Atlas, yeah. Yeah. you just get notified, hey, yeah, this game's game yeah. popping. All 300. They do have an upgrade they can get. Trying to win this right here, Eli? Ace King for Doug, not much going on for his opponents. All spades. Ethan with the jack of spades. Do you have any people that are IT 
There's the spade. <laughs> so Ethan now. Goes check, check. River is the pin. Yeah, I knew there was four, like the four spades out there. And with the jack of spades, Ethan with the flush. Yep, top two for Doug, no good. Gonna put to the test again here, he hates it. Not the afternoon for Doug, running into it left and right. Top two. There's four to a straight, four to a flush out there. Losing to any straight, losing to. But it's like doesn't actually block any good hands. Exactly. No, it doesn't block anything. Lose it to a lot, Doug. Wow. It's gonna All lay right. it down. Take it down. Oh. That's how you talk yourself through a good lay down. Just like oh, that, hand number 90. Perfect. Doug. Not gonna pay that one off. I wasn't, wasn't my small man. I just bet the flop the top pair duck kicker, turn two pair, check the back, and pull to the lower bet. I'm officially yeah. a live run. Tell yourself nobody ever bluffs there. The thing is, like, I, I, do, I think it's a good spot to bluff. It's just, uh, my hand doesn't actually block anything good. I'd rather have, like, ace five with the five of spades or something. There's a new course out that might help you fly. Oh, you needle me? No, I was just like, let's just kick Doug while he's out. It wasn't even a needle, it was just you being crowded. I'll need one. You got one through? Uh, oh, no, no, no. Seven. You do know. Rick, you see that scale? <laughs> you definitely know. Is that going to be a collector's item in a couple years down the road? The scale from the weigh-in yeah. between the jungle and Doug match yesterday? And this part is not even going to I'm thinking when we have our permanent studio next door, maybe we create a little area for like a, a stream museum. <laughs> Clarence could be in there, etc. I like that. I like that. Maybe one of Doug's bracelets, yeah, a replica or something a like that. A little glass case of stream memorabilia. Perhaps the sheriff hat from the match. And we can add as we go along. I think that would be pretty cool. Perhaps call Lily Coletta and get the throw that Slick Rick tried on that one time. Yeah. Call 1750. 1750. Yeah, that's what I was I'll take a shot at Really, really Doug makes the call. A drunk Adam bottle, as Adrian suggests. A DQ cowboy hat. That could be in the museum. I like it. Ethan will lay it down. So heads up, Kyle and Doug. No influence in the action there, guys. Coin man wants him in your cabinet. That's funny. Sure, sure. Ace, eight, six. Flush draw for Doug. King High still in the lead by just a sliver. Okay. A bag of Funyuns, Ragnar. That's that's a good one. That's a good one, Ragnar. A bag of Funyuns. A King Kai soup container, Chris the Cop. Another good one. See, this is this is why chat's the best. Chat pros delivering, coming in strong like bull. And now the king. 
gives Kyle second pair. Doug has some straight possibilities with a queen to Broadway. And the flush draw. Yeah. I could think of many more. I'll tell you after this hand. Check, check. check. Doug hits the club. And Kyle hits the king. So a spicy river card. Hand number 91. Doug hasn't had many hands off today. Whether he's winning them or losing one, he's been in some tight spots. All in and out. Oh my goodness. How much is it? Is it oh my God. All in an overbet jam. Kyle going for it all here. Doug. I think it's pretty unlikely I fold and I have a flush. So I just want you to know. Pretty unlikely I'm going to fold. I have a flush. There's him dead in the eye. If you're Kyle, you probably might need a boxer change after a comment like that. That's that's not what you want to hear. No. I have, like, so few things to regret than this. You could have nut flush. You could have ace-king. You could have aces. Oh, my God. Am I going to? Who am I anyway? All the calling has been going so well today. Well, I can have the nut flush, that's good. What's this though? King, queen of diamonds? Do you have that? Is that better or worse? Probably worse. Doug's never yeah, folding okay. here. He's not going to talk himself out of calling here. Taking his time. Oh man, I, think, I don't think that I'm gonna get away from this one. I wish I knew something about you. He knows nothing about Kyle. Kyle knows he's dead meat. That's the look of a man that just lost $9,000 on an all in river over jam. Trip Kings, no good. Really Those are some fallen soldiers right there. Going to go back to Doug. Unless. I get a little, I got nipped by it first, but sometimes I get like, uh, like, you may have someone lock up in his basement. Do I like, hey. Man, yeah. this <sighs> He makes the call. What a nit roll. Let's put the money in, Doug. Put the money in. Doug will take that one down. Good hand. So some other items that could go into the display case of mem uh, memorabilia shocked, from show history. How about a pair of Blue Man Group groups, uh, yeah, Joe's gloves? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a couple cans of White Claw from the White Claw Warrior. A hot dog in honor of Damon the Tatted One, the hot dog eating one. You can't just put anything. You can't just put anything in the Hall of Fame. Just saying. I think you're stretching a little. Guys. Here's a combo by combo breakdown of why I'm saying. Oh my god. <laughs> I do, man, you've lived in the blender today. Every 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 other hand, you've right? some huge river to look at. I've I, lived I, it. I understand. You've been now you might have put yourself in some of these positions. But True. You you have been in the blender all day. It's tough to be 
I'm seeing red. You got yeah, the no, it's tough for him. Very <laughs> mentally taxing. Just broke it down. Oh, I got a flush. Yeah. Fucking cold. Give you a <laughs> fifteen minute breakdown of why he's stacking you. I wish I knew 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 you. I think the line of that hand was, you're either a complete psychopath or you're a tight player. Yes. And I can't figure out which one. That's actually okay. I don't really know my Psychopath, tight player, fold call, never folding, I call, send me the money. And then he said something that was like, I'm sorry about that, by the way. Like, you know, I wouldn't do it if I didn't think, you know, you were successful. And I'm like, bro, you're good. Just don't even fucking worry about me. Oh, yeah. If you stack me, feel free to deal One thing definitely is in there is a bottle of Visine. For sure. <laughs> yeah, that sure. seven six. That makes the cut. Absolutely. Open ender for bones. With a picture behind it of Al, and then right in front of the picture, perhaps with a little bit of a spotlight device. I think it's kind of fun, actually. In a way, it like builds like some like dynamic and like. Ten of clubs to be able to laugh. Yeah, for sure. Be a good exhibit for You're sure. Right, I did lose a lot of money. Ace is gonna win this hand. If he stays in, Bone's gonna fire out at him. <laughs> I didn't torture him for about ten minutes unnecessarily. Yeah, guys, I think you're, you're very you you're getting lost in the weeds here. Let's <laughs> calls out his exact hand, acting like he's not gonna for a dime. Is it a dime? Well, at least it's on stream, so everyone can be a part of making fun. Yeah. <laughs> this, I guess it was just that man just thinks that he made a bluff there, but and he actually bluffed with the best oh, yeah, hand. <laughs> it felt right in the moment. <laughs> At least I haven't made a big, big fold incorrectly yet on the screen. Yeah, that was pretty. That was rough. That was a rough one. Uh, I know I'm gonna get hit for that one. A lot. Have I played a big pot with everybody today? <laughs> like, so. me, me and you? Yeah, I'll just have a bit of a hand in there. Alright. Four fold. I have to do my part. Yes, yes, you can. I raise. Raise. <laughs> 250. Right on cue. Right on cue. He laid in his part. Eight fold. He said you uh, wanted to get a big fold. Nine fold. One fold. Two fold. Nope. Nine fold. Three fold. Two fold. It would it would be tilt to call this, so I'm gonna fold. Oh, Doug lays you it did, down. You did your part actually. You threw at me a bunch today. Good seat, bro. It was a good seat, bro. <laughs> <laughs> when they told me you're to my right, I'm like, fuck yeah. I like that. I've had a lot of combos like that when I get to the table. People like celebrating, like, oh, my dog's left, huh? Yeah. Like, yeah. They're, like, they're like, and then I have people on the right, and they're just like, fuck my life. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's not the best. I, back when we were doing the Friday game where we do 510 and we had to play 500, it, it's one day the list was miles long. Like, it was just miles and miles long. And then the guy to my right left. And one by one, people came up, gave like one of these, and then just like was it, hang out for like a little bit, and then they'd walk away. It was just person after person after person. And then finally, Sue played. Raise 250. And she was like trolling all the guys. She's like, really? No one's gonna sit there? Like, what? I forgot what insult she called them. She was like, Wonderful. Last year, three bet actually jammed and showing a deuce. <laughs> Twice to me in a row. Three bet deuce. She raised three bet deuce. I'm like, all right. Raised to 500. Respect. Min click from Batman. Respect. And Slicer. Watch out there. Not Slice. gonna come along with the trays. Thank you, Kurt. But yeah. the way you killed it, it was it would okay. be very easy. All right. I'm gonna go back to my barrier here. Raise. Raise, Raise from Doug. Raise. Get that min click out of here. Both players very deep. There's a queen right in the window for Doug. Gutter ball for Batman. Yeah. Gutty. 
boy oh boy if the jack from space falls boy oh boy jack from space though and your batman will be losing to the ace king and he's not going to want to chase so he lays it down it's a good sweat that shows the queen he had something so what's going to be your recipe when you go home post stream what are you going to queue up in the kitchen a little hot honey you're going to take some melatonin i, mean, I don't even know get some sleep you you're don't not, realize you're not going to have a little potion no not, no potion grab a little bite all natural just a couple z's what are you going to eat i'm feeling some pizza for dinner <laughs> We've been talking. I'm Good feeling, I'm feeling some, some pizza. If you go after that small eye bonus, I will defend it. We'll defend it's on I will seven. defend it's on okay. Well, actually, I'm defending so I can win it. <laughs> no potion. I thought you'd fire something up. Yeah. Or pack something up. Ethan with Jack 8 of Diamonds raises a 250. Over to Batman. With the Phil Helmuth hand. Batman. Queen four suited. Batman, the big winner so far today. I thought Jungle would know more like modern stuff than he did. I thought he would know a little bit more. Yeah, but he's like A6 Trey. Nobody hits any of that. You got it, Coin Man. Anything for the coin man. A true gentleman. Yeah, I mean, he's tough. Like, he's obviously tough yeah, to play. <laughs> Booker chat, bro. Pretty funny comment there. So there's, like, there. a bunch of, like, small solvery stuff that, like... Have you played versus Linus at all? I hear uh, Linus and Barry finished up their match. Hop on in there. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> I think I heard that Barry won. Barry, won. Barry, Barry Chris the cop a opening a box of worms in chat saying, Is Batman really a superhero? His 13 year old says no because he has no powers. If you're going to play people I'd on say that yes. level, it has to be the only thing. Folks, this is the information for the monthly monster. Like Start booking travel. Plenty of hotels around the lodge on the website. We have hotel deals. So if you want to play in that 500K monthly monster, get after it. Queens for Ethan. Okay. Two flights each of the 22nd, 23rd, 24th, and 25th, and it'll all finish on the 26th. Six hundred dollar buy-in. And then, um, is it a German guy? I think a German made it. Corey, the ladies for Ethan. Cinnabon comes in with King Ten. Three ways to a flop. King Jack six, pair of kings for Cinnabon. Asking me a best pizza topping. I mean, it's a tough one. I like my pizza pretty simple, authentic. With a bigger gap between how I like pepperoni. It is Don't love pepperoni. Off the belt and how unbelievably brutal it is to be with them. Mushrooms? What's the what's the best? He's so nice and friendly. Pizza topping. I, mean, I usually go with like, the pepperoni like, wow, and mushroom. Really good, nice dude. Yeah. Very smart. Maybe sausage. And then, and then, I mean, you watch him play. You're like, oh my god, man. Jack. King. Cinnabon's gonna win. Jack, queens, and kings, and the king takes it down. 
Cinnabon just having a profitable the afternoon. Girl, hasn't really been, been put in many tough spots. Yes. Which is a good thing yeah, at the yeah, poker table. VPIP dug at the top 39%. Bones at the bottom. Hovering around dead man status. Yeah. Alright, I'm going after that bounty. But Cinnabon's up close, you know, up north of 10k. Just kind of staying, hovering under the radar. And winning pots. Chris the cop, no, there has not been a sandwich bet today. No sandwich bets. I don't know, I guess. I'm running out of so fucking tight. I'm running out of bits. <laughs> I've just done so many bits, you know. It happens when you play last season. Nine full. I didn't two, know how to respond to the jungle in cowboy character. I just didn't even know what to say to someone. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Like, what, what do you, you even say? say? I was surprised he kept it up for so long. Dude, it was smooth. It was natural. <laughs> I feel like he just lives his life in great five hundred. <laughs> I will say that the stuff they've done at Run Alliance with the Fargo videos, it was so fucking good. Like the Jungle American Psycho one, it was just fucking incredible. Doug with a straight draw. A pair of Cowboys for Josh. That's 325. And the flush draw. A little combo draw for Doug. Nope. Flat, the, the flop is incorrect on very the reader. Good. There we go. Very, very good. The six is not a heart. They're going to have to redo that. Every now and then. Shit happens. Shit happens with the reader. Every now and then. But we move forward. And we become stronger because of it. Doug's still barreling. Queen high is queen high. Pair of kings for Josh coming along. Doug drawing very, very thin. What time does the stream end? Are we in OT yet? Are we in OT yet, Mike? Not yet. Two pair for Josh. Look at Cinnabon, Eli, leaving the table to smash the like button. A chat pro and a player, Doug, going for the bluff, gets snapped off. Queen high, no good. Yeah, that was a good line there last go, night, Caleb Fuller, when Jungle said, cool story, bro, I'm a real cowboy. <laughs> to well, Doug I last night. I think Doug was just yeah, making a, actually a legitimate comment about a relative who used to be a farmer yeah, yeah, and a, a real cowboy. One, I gotta, and I Jungle it. just didn't want to hear any uh, part of that. We've talked about this too long. I don't know what that is. It's, but it's, uh, like, it's like a vaporizer. Okay. It was high tech when I first got it in okay. 2000. Yeah, I have never heard of that at all. Never heard of the whole game. It's two calls. It's supposed to be like the cleanest. Three calls. Four calls. Pocket Kings for Kyle. If I were to partake in that kind of thing, I would just stick with the whole game. Three for 1100. Otherwise, you're torture ones. Over time. Seven calls. Eight calls. What's your shot? I still kind of enjoy the uh, the process of whatever I'm like. I know, it's retro list, dude. Yeah. Oh my god. I ask if you have a volcano, and you give the like sigh face of like, I don't really know what that is, and then you talk about volcano 30 minutes later and use the word ritualistic. No, I <laughs> Yeah. That was a good read of my part. This was in full. We're going to go about another like, 20, 25 minutes. Perfect. Yeah. Is it overtime? Yeah. Okay. That's even overtime. Okay. How could they not like this stream? That seems like that one up everybody. Wow. <laughs> Tell me, Grace, you're way, you're way. Parsha, you're way. No, I am not. Thank you. Thank you. I'm still on about like 6,000. I'm going to change that now. 
Anybody can take it. That's basically even. Who wouldn't take plus 20k in, in two days, right? Uh, it's not plus 20k. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Exactly. The night the is young, we got 20 hours. Did you play off stream last night So you quit as soon as. Okay. I'm probably not going to play off stream anymore. I messed up my sleep schedule too much. Mm -hmm. I gotta do it for the fans during the day. What time is it right now? It's like 6.15. Oh, shit. Mike, we gotta think of a most valuable chatter oh, award to today. <laughs> do you have anybody that has gone above and beyond? I'm gonna leave that up to you, partner. Cowboy. You got a couple front runners? I'm going to give it to somebody who's relatively new to chat after this game. Whoa! Just relatively new, but has shown tremendous commitment. Whoa, let me, uh, let me see. Let me see. Is that 300? Oh, you're right. Wow. This one specifically? For many reasons. Call 300. My first time getting there in 21. Really, really, really good. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Uh, the Deputy. The Sheriff. The Sheriff, yeah. Or the Deputy. I, I still don't get that bit. <laughs> 11 days sober. Sobriety. So, <laughs> the, is this the fifth or the sixth most valuable chatter award? I think it's number six, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's number six. This person is relatively new to the stream within the last month or so. He has tremendous dedication because he is on the other side of the world. Most valuable chatter goes to Paul Edwards from Australia. Paul Edwards, the president of the Perth Lodge Live fan club. Congratulations, you Paul Edwards. You get the notoriety from all of your fellow chatters for being named tonight's most valuable chatter. That's going to be a good Sunday in Australia. Very, very nice. Congratulations. When you're right, just a bit so small in the river, I was like, why would you get, like, Paul Edwards gives a cheers. There are some of these greens. I remember watching some stupid Doug Polk video back in the day. But we want to thank all 2,600 in the live chat tonight. It was a, another great chatting community experience. <laughs> Make a, we, make a, we make a highlight. Best hero call ever, 10 high, I call. I tried to give you a lot of table talk tonight. We're going to continue doing that, and we're only going to improve that. Last night we were able to have both players mic'd, and we're, that's what's going to happen in the future. We're only going to get better with our audio. We seem to forgotten that this is the temporary setup. Only bigger and better on the horizon for this channel, this stream, this chat, this poker club. Have faith in us that we want to deliver one of the best products out there in the entire poker universe. And we are true to our word from the bunker. We do not bluff, so we do it for you guys. We appreciate you tuning in four times a week, doing the dirty work, hitting that like button, subscribing, telling people in your local card rooms and communities about us. We truly appreciate it. We are on the final five hands or so of the evening. I also think so let's see some bloodshed. I mean, it's, it's, it's a nice bottle of scotch, but it's not like crazy and insane expensive. Like some like three Three berries actually a little more than I thought. No, how's it up? Anybody here? Oh, shit. 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 Unless you like peated. If you like peated, it's not. It's, it's non-peated scotch. I don't know the difference. 
Thank you, Otto. Appreciate it. Yeah, so did you get pee in it or the not? So, like, really, when you talk about good scotch, we talk about scotch in general, there's peated and there's non peated. And so, like the peat, like the peat that you're, like the moss or whatever they use. So, the region that Glen Levitt's in, um, it's in Speyside. Speyside has most of the excellent non peated. Speyside? Speaking of Speyside. The Fittick, all those, they're all there. Excuse me, the other ones too. Um, a lot of the ones in the Highlands or in Isla, the, Isla of Isla, the island of Isla, those will be more peated. So, um, in the space side, the space side area just is not peated mainly. But the, in my opinion, non peated makes it way more drinkable. It doesn't like really Chris the cop asked me if I'm going to play like on stream peated. soon. Yeah, you I haven't played on a while. I haven't played, period. Little, little bit it, but not, not that Maybe much. Monday? Check it in there on Monday? I, Go for it. Oh, man. 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 I think that's too speedy for me. It's too smoky. 14? Yeah, I haven't yet played on People in chat would love to see you back on the felt. I don't love the Rusty. I like a little bit. Like, even Mescal gets a little too smoky for me. Yeah, Mescal's really smoky. There's another famous uh, peach whiskey that... I How does chat like their alcohol? Smoky or non-smoky? I am a big <laughs> smoky fan for the alcohol. I like the mezcal. I like the smoky so with, scotch. with scotch, something like 70, 75 percent of the flavor is the barrel. Oh, yeah. Same with bourbon. You like absolutely. The barrel is very important. Thank you, Arnold. We appreciate you tuning in from the Netherlands. Huge in the Netherlands. Wait, what? Pielo. Pielo. Y'all got a lot of Pielo in Houston, huh? Lots. 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 Six raises, 250. Oh, I like that. 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 Yeah, no, you're probably right. Well, we played a few times at the other card house in town on the street. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that will not be named. So Switzerland in the house. We'll be Three ways to a flop, nine, five, four, two hearts. Friend that runs the, uh, Top the pair for Batman, who's been the, been the big oh, winner so I far know, tonight. I Isaac Landon, you can never awesome. ask to be most valuable chatter. Yeah. It has to come organically. I fold. Nice fold. If we keep seeing you in chat, stream after stream, you keep bringing it strong, you stay positive. That's the recipe. It is. I just gave happens. you the secret sauce. And it may not happen one day, and when you least expect it, bam. You are the most valuable chatter. Yeah, you can, at the distilleries, it's probably you can taste the pre barrel distillate. Oh, yeah. like Rocket fuel, yeah. But you can taste that they are slightly different, so it gives you a little more appreciation for the like what the distillates are like in different places compared to after the the barrel. The difference between them. Yeah, it's, it's Comic book Chris, we appreciate you. A little backhanded yeah. slap right there, think, Comic Chris. I think it was meant as a positive look. Yeah. <laughs> no matter how you find us found us. We hope you would give us a couple chances. The games are usually good all the time. I brought it in. Ball, the the nice. 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 Slicer nice. makes it 500. This guy reaches over. Doug with ace two suited. Coming down the last four or five oh hands of God. the stream. That would have put me on tilt. It's what? worse than any bad beat. I brought in like a decent bottle, not like, like this, but like, you know, whatever. And guy sitting, to eat, turns around, grabs the bottle, pours himself a glass, dumps like half a can of coke. Paul, we cannot oh, tell how I long somebody has subscribed. I don't even care that you just like trying to stock it, but it don't really. Yeah. Yeah. And to win the award, it really doesn't can. matter. Yeah. We, 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 that'd be a nice little feature, yeah. though. Yeah. yeah. How many, how many episodes you've watched? We don't have ice so they were. It wasn't really a choice. Queen Jack five. Open ender for Batman. Pair of sevens. 
still currently in the lead. The Bruins fan trapped in Carolina asking a silly question. First mistake being born a Bruins fan. Second mistake, we're in Texas. Of course there are good street tacos around. Come on. Come on down here. We can talk about Bergeron and Pasternak, and we can get some tacos. Six of spades on the turn. It's not like you put some water in it. It's like you take like a dropper. Batman still with plenty of outs. I'm not a big believer in it, but it's not like you throw in a bunch of water. JT, that's a good question. I'll answer that after this hand. There's been a few comments on that tonight. It's ritualistic. Yeah. <laughs> Answer it right now. Yeah, some of the some of the right. higher streams, stakes games. higher stakes decide on a set amount that they'll tip the dealer, and dealers are going to get taken care of. If it's you're pretty, not seeing a, it's pretty common in high stakes games. Yeah, where they tip before the stream or at the end of the stream, multiple hundreds of dollars or sometimes thousands of dollars. So that it's very common in all high stakes poker games. That's the way they do it. Yeah, well, you see a lot of different things. But tonight, that's I believe that's how they're doing it. I was out there when they decided. It, so yeah. that's, that, that's what happened. So don't worry about the dealers. They will do just fine tonight. Against Daniel? It was like last year. When I was trying to play heads up against Sparks, I watched that a bunch to try to get a feel for him. Did you hear anything? It's not a bad idea if we have the I mean, NBC T-shirts, but the only way you can claim them is in person. Yeah, we'll have to get on that. Signed by Mike Brady, Doug, yeah. Andrew, Brad, maybe myself and you, Slick. NBC yeah. merch. I'd love that idea. Free of charge, but only can be claimed in person. Yeah. You were rolling for size, and then like you were rolling for like you were rolling for like frequency and size. Nick was doing commentary and he mentioned it. He's like, it looks like you roll something. Well, and then you roll it again because you really want to do it. Sometimes I do that where I just like, I really want it to be better. So, one, one thing I, I always do in the river, and I don't. Why, well, I know why I do this. Like, Check. let's say I'm on the river and I'm debating. Set here. I call. Boat. I'll Flop boat for Slicer. First. Nines for and Ethan. This could be like, trouble. Let's say I'm on the river and I'm like, I think this hand should raise a 12. Ethan, who started this stream I'll so it, hot. I certainly cooled off down the stretch. I know that I've already missed a sandwich bet. I would have taken the six. Like like I, uh, I told you a couple so streams ago. You're not winning any more sandwiches, and ever since that was made, I haven't. Because like men haven't won a sandwich. Prepare for like I'm about to run some shit on the river versus like should I call or not? Should I call or not is not very stressful. How do you do something 12 percent of the time? It's going to be very hard for Ethan to get away from this overpair. It's four hundred fifty dollars. A good old fashioned check raise from Slicer in the small blind. Ethan makes the call. Two outs remain. And perhaps roads to an exit when the Ace of Diamonds falls on the turn. That, that session, I played so well. I was in the straight like, zone. I was think we might yeah, see something like 1200 here, 12, 1300 I, I Slicer. I felt super locked in. It was like six not, months of nonstop trade. I was so locked in. And like, it's also like kind of, you kind of get a high when you're like, I'm showing every one of these cards to everyone. Yeah, yeah, Especially when like, I'm going to show how good I am. Yeah. And there was like hands like where I like blocked, he raised, and I blocked three bet. Like all yeah. the shit, you know, the whole thing works. It was like. That one is the one where you got that triangular one. I thought it was the two most valuable ones. Like when I was trying to learn, I was like, I went back and watched a bunch of stuff. Like stuff where it was just like Jamie and someone else, where they were just like casually talking about Ethan's like, still oh, making the, the call. Well, different audiences. Yeah. Looking for like, a nine ball, corner pocket, doesn't line. come. Um, you're going to get more in depth. Like Josh Heinzel did a good job too. I didn't, I didn't listen back to him. It would have been insane. Yeah. I was just telling him, like, we were talking about uh, the audiences for commentary. Like, the times I've done commentary, I, I try to do more strategy based, and it felt like I was getting, like, no response at all. But then, you know, when people are in, like, oh, you know, yeah. whatever it is, the chat's like, oh, that was awesome. Just know what I'm like, okay, I'm wasting my time here. <laughs> really, it turns the audience. 
Duck's not gonna bash us on stream. He's smarter than that. Slicer still with the boat. Flop the boat. Going for a hefty size here on the river. Got a customer on the turn. Ethan not willing to surrender. And they were like speculating on if you had, uh, if you were trying to win it for your friends. Cause like, well, I, I already, I already lost Tennessee it Chad, our good friend, so you, in the chat. Tennessee and Chad, come back in. All right, hold him. He's, 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 due, he's due for a visit. We haven't seen him in a while. We're due for, for another three-hour yeah. dinner sure at Eddie V's. Like nah, sushi nice anyway. I mean, I, I, I like cheese aside, but it was... Deep Breath really bad to lose that. Was that? No, who won, Nicky? Deep lost. You Swap no. boat for Slicer. Can the kid get away? Doesn't look like it. Grabbing the bubble gum makes the call. the call. What are you getting check raised with on that flop? Especially when an ace comes on the turn. It's, it's just a really gross spot. Slicer has been pretty snug all day. Doesn't really get out of line much. Not sure if Ethan watches the stream. But still from this session, Slicer's been pretty snug. Got to respect that check raise. And once that ace comes on the turn, you just, those nines really go to dust. Still makes the call. So a hot start has turned sour pretty quickly. He has been on a large roller coaster. Front row, hands up. Hands up. You must be a certain height to, to get on. I always struggle to reach that, that minimum height. But when I was tall enough, a little bit later, a little bit later than others, I was front row. No hands. Skydiving on my 18th birthday. Check. There you go. Shark swimming in Hawaii. Check. My team was like six holes, so they have people Bluffing on the river for thousands. Check. Ace King for Josh. Coming down the wire, folks. A couple more hands remain. Slicer, three bets. 750. I'm about 5'7", Orange Fulius, 5'7". You're right. I don't want to say any names, but one of those two will play. And Dan will play. And see Chad loves a, loves a steamer or two. Steamer? Down to our last two hands of the night, folks. Oh, yeah, Jim. Oh, yeah, you were there when you played? I was in here when you played twice. That would be a fun one. Yeah, he's like a really nice guy. Yeah, I can watch. He's a nice guy. Yeah. He's also a nice guy afterwards. Yeah, that's even better. Yeah, I didn't love that one blow up I ran on him in the moment. I'm like, oh, God. Doug talking about a Daniel Negreanu rematch. That was kind of wild. Table 11. Under the lights. That would be sweet. What's going to happen, Rick? On, the, on that podcast, Daniel made it sound like it's going to happen, Rick. I don't love check raising big or check raising in polar spots out of position. Is that a call or is that a raise? Oh, Maybe the first one is 700. I have no clue if the raise is good there or not, but it feels not a call raise. I, I, I don't know. I, didn't, I was just surprised. I, was, I didn't know why I Kings for Very Bones, the moment he's been waiting for all that. stream, facing a three bet well, from you, Batman. If you're, bluffing, if you're bluffing, you're like, oh god, if he's got it. He's gonna fire in a here. four bet, and, and I don't know how like, spicy Batman's gonna get. No, nope, just leans on the call, setting the trap. Like, nope. It so weird. I know Saul was that stuff. Goes for that four bet. Well, thought he was just gonna call once he pulled back his chips like that, but. Like a Makes the four bet to 2K. Snap call from Batman, so. 4K in the middle. And there's the ace. Right smack in the middle of two fours. Not what Bones wanted to see. It's just Batman's night. Ace always comes. When I leave the lodge today, I'm going to look in the sky. No. 
Looking just, for the bat signal? I'm just gonna look for the signal. Seems like it's a nice night to spot it. Whoa! Something just fell. Somebody just, something just happened over there in the lodge. Everybody claps. Bones facing a bet of three thousand. So gross when you're sitting on an eight point three stack. You got to decide right now: Are we playing for all of it, or am I getting away? All of it, or none of it? And he's going to make that call. So I don't know if there's roads to an exit on any future streets. Makes that call. 10K in the middle. 5K behind. Trouble for Bones. Drawing the two outs. And that's paint. But it's not royalty. It's just a joker. Check, check. Interesting. Mr. Batman... Perhaps fearful that Bones might have a superior ace. Yeah, superior kicker. What does Bones want to do at this stack depth? Mr. Batman, after facing two checks, is going to stuff it. All you can eat, soda on the side. It's going to put Bones to the test here. No, I didn't even apply to those fucking schools. They never would have accepted me. Same. Yeah. They discriminate against Asians anyway. They would cast on Asians at those schools. Not that that would have been me, because I never would have gotten in even if they discriminated. But you could, you could say that. Eli's they talking about how they discriminate against too. Asians to an Asian who got accepted. Right. right. So what is he talking about? Meanwhile, Bones in the blender. Summertime blender. Trying to talk to Batman, and Batman says, Bones, there's no talking here. I applied to three schools for college, and I applied to two schools I really wanted to go to, and then one that was like, I'll get into one of the other two, but I guess I'll have this as my backup. And then I, I bricked both the ones I wanted to go to, and I just got into like a shitty public school in North Carolina, and I was like, oh my god, what have I done? I dropped out, so yeah. yeah, I, yeah. yeah I applied to a school that was a reach, and then one out of state, and then I knew I'd get into it. I got in the one out of Damn. state, and then I realized I don't need fucking money, so oh, I you still on. Yeah, of course, but it just didn't. Uh, and then it worked out. It worked out, but like in that scenario, you probably, if you're gonna, well, what were you gonna go for? I wanted to get into U of Illinois, I couldn't get in Iowa with my out of state option, yeah. and I ended up going to Illinois. Uh, like I said on the flop, Bones needed to decide right then and there, are we playing for all of it in this pot or are we not? And now he's on the river, already invested about half of his stack. And... Yeah, U of I was tougher. I thought I could get in if I did the more little arts route instead of business. So that's partially why I did it. And actually, if I need to like crush it here. Iowa, it was pretty easy to get into, but of course, it was like one of the ones in the top of the state. You had a street to get into. So. Bones on an island right now. <laughs> they never send me. Like anyone off the street can get in. That's where I went. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really good teaching school. My wife. Well, she was a teacher. She went there. Not buying that Batman has it. The Harvard like, or the Midwest. Ohio State. No, Illinois State. Not quite. Wouldn't Northwestern be the Harvard of the Midwest? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Clock has been called in chat. It's like, it's, like, it's like the Harvard of Illinois. Northwestern's Well, no, it's Northwestern there. Yeah, Northwestern. It's like the Princeton. Yeah, it's like the Princeton of Central Illinois. It's very expensive. What do you think, Ray? Are we getting away from this, or are we uh, punting off Bones our Bones is going to find a way to get away from it. Yeah. Bones, My belief. Bones rarely makes mistakes, but that oh, is oh one goodness. of them. He is going to be stacked. Batman. The night for Batman that we will all remember. 
I did not think Bones was going to make that call. I did not think Batman was going to be winning the most on this stream, but gets paid off right there, and he hasn't made many mistakes. Got a couple bluffs through early. He's going to be the last man. You know what? What time is right now? Um, I, I have a ride at 8.30, so I'll play until then if you guys want to play off stream. Doug, feeling himself, wants to play a little post-stream. Heard him say about an hour ago, oh, don't think I'm going to play any more post-stream. Think I'm only going to play on, on stream because it messes up my sleep. That's bullshit. Every poker player has a little lie in them or two. Even Douglas Polk, the sheriff, stuck heaps. Probably because he's stuck, he wants, you know what? I'm going to, this game's getting good. I'm going to stay a little while to try to make some of my money back. And if chat would have hit the like very early, perhaps north of 2,000 likes, 2,500 yeah. likes, we could have gone into double OT, but it's a little late for that. Final hand of the stream. We appreciate you all for tuning in. It's been a long 24 hours on stream at the Lodge Live, but it's been a great 24 yeah, historic. hours. So we're not complaining. I got to give a shout out, though, to Doug. He's the same attitude, whether he's winning 100%. or losing. The same and the lawyer is like, what is this? Attitude. Oh, 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 oh. 100%. <laughs> Don't forget, folks, we'll be back on Monday, 3 p.m. for 2 5 10 match the stack. I'll probably get into that game if Slick Ricky gives me the okay. I don't want to leave my co partner oh, go solo. For go for it. I want to see you on the felt. So it's been so long. They're almost on the cards. Yeah, I was trying to get a read on you. How'd it go? I didn't figure it out. Nine. We got a big hand for the final hand of the night. A couple suited connectors. Alright, hold on, hold on. Should we chop? Final hand of the night. Let's see the flop. Ace Jack six. Broadway draw. For Cinnabon. Is, was there two aces out there? I could have sworn it was different flop there. We'll see here in a second. Yeah, ace jack six, and there's the king. Ace jack six, king. Big bet from Doug. Likely going to shut things down, but as we started the stream, it was the nine seat, or we're only eight handed, so we'll call it the eight seat versus Doug. And this is how we will end it. The professor versus the pupil, the sheriff versus the kid, the home team versus the visitor, whatever you want to call it, Ethan will continue to battle. And both these players do not have much. I think Doug's gonna put the kid to the test on the final hand. All you can eat, the weekend buffet special. Every last one of the chips. There's the fold. And that will do it. That'll do it. And uh, we want to thank all the fine folks who were big part of the stream tonight. Josh, the Lizard of Lodge, uh, ran some things. Kim was on the cameras. And uh, Brian was on the action tracker. Skull Mike, your final thoughts on the night. As I look at my notebook, I have plenty of hands to review, post in the timestamps. 
a great night of poker. Mr. Batman, somehow, some way, $43,000. And Ethan stuck 11 after that hot start. A roller coaster night indeed. Plenty of coolers, tough spots for Doug, but enjoyable nonetheless. So I hope all 2,500 people in chat enjoyed it. I hope they are all subscribers. And I hope to see them all on Monday for another edition of Poker Night at the Lodge. Yeah, and there, you, one last look at the monthly monster. Uh, the, this version is June 22nd through the 26th. Two flights on the 22nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th. It all finishes up on the 26th. $600 buy-in. There's how you want to play on the Lodge. For Skull Mike, my name is Slick Rick. We will see you in 45 hours on the Lodge Live. Are we leaving? Is this over? No one wants to play? Come back here. You'll have plenty of people.